listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, uh, welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Pipp alongside my good friend Ken Holland. Uh, the women losing in a tough one, 69-57 to earlier this afternoon, but we are here for the doubleheader. A very important game tonight for the Bearcats. A win tonight versus longtime rival Stephen F. Austin would ensure at least a share of the Southland Conference title before we head to Katy for that coveted Southland Conference tournament next week. Ken, set for a good one here tonight. It is a good, I would say, close to 1,200 capacity crowd for COVID and excited about this one tonight. Sam Houston has really got to come out striking. This is a very tough Stephen F. Austin team. We'll talk a little bit more about it here in a minute, but good to see you again, my friend. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you having me over uh, on the radio. I get to be a fan. Uh, the other Doing the TV stuff, you got to have be a little neutral, so I get to cheer alongside you, and I love your energy, so I'm looking forward to you calling the game tonight. We're excited about it. We are live here from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. For now, though, we'll step aside. We'll take a brief break. When we come back, we'll talk more about this matchup. It's Sam Houston men's basketball hosting Stephen F. Austin. We've got more information coming up when we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. Hablo. It's hablo? Yes. It's hablo. <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Since my husband is from Guatemala, I'll apply what I've learned in Babbel to our real life situations. The app is so easy to use and it's so practical. It helps you learn things that you will actually need. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. They don't build cars like they used to, and they don't repair them like they used to either. Today's vehicles contain advanced lightweight materials and safety features like crumple zones and sensors that help protect your family. Repairing them properly after a collision requires up-to-date training. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 has it. They're among only 15% of shops to meet the industry's highest training standards as a gold-class business. When you pick a collision repair shop, make the smart choice for your family's safety. Choose gold-class trained repair professionals. Choose Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45. It's time to gear up for the rodeo and time to save on denim at Cavenders. Right now, men's and ladies' area jeans are 10 bucks off. Wrangler cowboy cut jeans and rock and roll denim jeans are buy two, get one free. Plus, cinch jeans are buy one, get one 50% off. You can always trust Cavenders for authentic Western style. So hurry in now and save at Cavenders, your rodeo headquarters. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pip alongside Ken Holland as we are seven minutes to go before we get things started in the first half of play. We are live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry wonderfully made. Well, as we said earlier, Sam Houston can win its second Southland Conference regular season championship in three years and earn that number one seed in the league's postseason tournament with a win over the Lumberjacks today. The Cats also won the Southland regular season title back in 2019. That banner is just behind us to the left. As we were looking, Ken, uh, a lot of accolades here hanging in Johnson Coliseum and a good way to end the season here for Sam Houston. A two-game winning streak. They're on a 13-game winning streak at home. It is always so hard to play here at Johnson Coliseum. The Cats clinched a spot in the Southland Tournament this season for the 11th time under head coach Jason Hooten. It marks the 19th straight season that Sam Houston has qualified for the tournament, which is the longest active streak in the league. Sam Houston, they did slip one spot in that collegeinsider.com mids major top 25 poll this week. The Bearcats now ranked at number 12. For those of you joining us in the booth, now that's why you see the number 12. Stephen F. Austin, they are not ranked in that mid-major poll. The Bearcats are coming off an 84-61 victory over Texas A&M Corpus Christi at Johnson Coliseum Wednesday night. As the Cats making their way onto the court now, the fans on their feet, and a lot of energy will be in this building tonight. 
talking a little bit more about that victory on Wednesday night versus Texas A&M Corpus. Zach Nuttall led the team with 20 points. Demarcus Lampley, boy, he was turning on the lights. Cody Stark likes to tell me to put on my sunglasses when Lampley starts shooting. He added 17 points and seven rebounds. The freshman, it's Rocket Man, Bryce Monroe. He scored 10 points. And also freshman Kean Scroggins provided a spark off the bench with eight points and seven boards. That was a season and career high for Kean. So it was really good, Ken, that the Cats got up so early in that game. It was a much different game versus the previous time they played Texas A&M Corpus. They got up early, and a lot of these guys that don't get to see a lot of playing time had some valuable minutes. That's only going to help and continue to mature and grow those young men. Yeah, I think most of the starters came out in the very beginning of the first half. Like you said, a lot of bench players got some some good minutes and, and were very productive. Kean Scroggins being one of those individuals as a true f- freshman playing the post position, uh, and it would be nice to see him out against some of these big guys against the uh, Lumberjacks tonight. Well, Stephen F. Austin, they're on a one-game skid after they lost a contest 63-61 to at home of all places versus Abilene Christian. Of course, Sam Houston taking care of business to splitting it with Abilene Christian this season as they won the first matchup. It was 64-57, to uh, but then lost the second one 86-72. to So seeing... Stephen F. Austin, there are some vulnerabilities here for the Lumberjacks. They hardly don't lose at home. They're in Nacogdoches at their Johnson facility. (laughs) You know, it was funny. I had a friend of mine. He had bought tickets, and he came here for that game. He thought that it was here. Yeah. And I felt bad because he goes, man, I got here. The doors are locked. I said, they canceled the game. I said, you're at the wrong Johnson, dude. I said, you're over at the William R. Johnson. You should have been at the the one in Nacogdoches. Uh, But anyways, uh, talking about these Lumberjacks, again, a 63-61 to loss. Uh, versus Abilene Christian. We're about 3.53 to go. You know, some scenarios here, Ken. You and I were talking a little bit about this as well. Uh, Nichols with uh, the victory. If they finish up with 42 points, they would be the outright conference uh, championship. But if Sam Houston can win tonight, they would share that conference championship, and the Bearcats would win the tiebreaker of the virtue of the head-to-head going 2-0. So instead of Nichols being the outright champion, they would share that championship uh, with Sam Houston. I'm, I'm only going to say this once. Nichols kind of jumped the gun. And uh, they were posting about the championship on their social media feed. So I hope tonight we can prove that wrong. Well, yeah, I probably need to stay a little quiet about that too. <laughs> you're Rob. on the radio side. So you're on the home team but, side. <laughs> but here's the deal. Not only did they jump the gun, but the Southland Conference jumped the yeah. gun and saying that they were the regular season champions without having this game be played yet to see if they were co-champions. They could have worded it a little differently. Um, Obviously, you know, Sam Houston and SFA and Lamar leaving the conference, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, um, but there's still work to be done. There's games to be played. And there there is a co-championship for the Bearcats and a number one seed on the line. So if they win tonight, they're in a better position than Nichols will be, uh, or at least, you know, one, two, uh, given that. Now, if they don't win tonight, that changes things up kind of muddies the water a little bit. We'll have to see how some other games play out uh, to see if it's a three or four spot for the Bearcats. We'll step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and tip-off. It is a packed COVID capacity crowd here. Thank you, Huntsville and surrounding areas for coming out and supporting the Bearcats in person. We'll have the call coming up when we come back right here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. Eric Barbosa, General Manager at Henson Chevy Buick GMC, and we're letting the good deals roll during our parade of savings. We're rolling out 10 models with payments under $300 a month. We'll even throw in a big screen TV. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductible and unlimited miles at no cost to you, and we even deliver for free. Get rolling with big savings today at Henson Chevy, your dealer for life. Henson Chevy, HensonChevy.com. Whether it's a new firearm, cleaning kit, Kydex holster, knife, or knife sharpening, they have it all at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They also offer $15 FFL transfers, layaway, and gift certificates for that hard-to-shop loved one. Go by and see them today. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, they're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call 936-439-6727. 
bullets, blades, and concealment. Improve your health and well-being this year at Snap Fitness. Snap Fitness offers 24-7 memberships and will make you feel like family. Snap Fitness is a sure way to meet your fitness goals and help you thrive in 2021 with cardio equipment, weight machines, free weights, and great personal trainers. Drop by today to set up a tour and start your wellness and health journey. Snap Fitness Huntsville is located next to Boot Barn. Visit snapfitness.com or find us on Facebook at Snap Fitness Huntsville. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here alongside Ken Holland as we are moments away from tip-off here at Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville, Texas. We had the anthem for the women's game, so I don't believe we'll have it here as it's part of a doubleheader. Big thank you to my beautiful fiance sitting to my left tonight too, Miss Bridget Brennan, helping me out running our uh, scoreboard and other software, so appreciate her being here. Again, Ken, looking for a victory tonight as Sam Houston trying to go three games in a row to end this regular season and take a share of that Southland Conference Tournament. Yeah, you know, obviously against our arch rival, Stephen F. Austin, this is a really big game for the Bearcats. They are energized. They know what's on the line. A win gets them a, a championship and a, a number one seed and just really propels them into next week. And, you know, they won't play till till Friday if they have a number one seed. So. We'll see about this one. You know, so talking going back to the previous matchup between these two teams, uh, it was back earlier in January, actually the end of the month of January, as it was a 68-78 to Stephen F. Austin victory in Nacogdoches. The Bearcats couldn't dock down much shooting in that as they took the loss in Nacogdoches. It was the Bearcats' first Southland Conference loss, and Ken, of course, that snapped a 10-game winning streak. The Bearcats had a lot of life. A lot of momentum heading into that one. They did, and it was one of those games where you, when you go over to SFA and play their their facility, their, the environment there, it's electric. Um, th their fan base shows out, and so, um, but they're over here this time, you know, and, and so we need to do the same on on this side of it. And that, that's nice to have that middle. It's a break in the middle of the season, and you end the season with them. And I love that that's that way every year. Bryce Monroe, the freshman, had 16 in that game. Nuttall only finished with 14. We'll quickly go over the starting lineups here for the visiting Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks out of Nacogdoches, of course, under head coach Kyle Keller, the Oklahoma State alum from 1990. In his fifth coaching season, all of them at SFA, 43 victories and 45 losses, entering tonight on a one-game losing streak after dropping that one at Abilene Christian at home, 63-61. They'll start with the six foot, 387 pound senior guard, a transfer from East Central Community College, number two, Rati Ware. It's a six foot, four, 216 pound senior guard out of Little Rock, Arley, Arkansas, and a Tyler Junior College transfer, number three, Cameron Johnson. A six foot, 170 pound senior guard out of Pennsylvania, and Mineral Area College, number four, David Cacklerees. A six foot, nine, 222 pound fresh uh, forward, a senior forward out of Jacksonville, Florida. A transfer from Indian River St. College, number 12, Charlie Daniels. A six foot, 794 pound sophomore forward out of Houston, Texas and Klein Forest High School, number 13, Calvin Solomon. So again, for the Lumberjacks, it is Ware, Johnson, Cacklerese, Daniels, and Solomon. For your Sam Houston State Bearcats, again under head coach Jason Hooten, the Charlton State alum from 1993 in his 11th season. 216 victories, 145 losses. The Bearcats 19 and seven overall, 13 and two in the Southland Conference. They'll start with a six foot 10 or six foot two, 170 pound senior guard, the pride of Phoenix City, Alabama, Central High School, the transfer from Wallace State, Hansville. It's number three to Marcus. Turn on the lamp, Lampley. 
a six foot 385 pound junior guard out of Bryan, Texas and Bryan High School. The two time Southland Conference Player of the Week this year, number 10, Zach Nuttall. A six foot 290 pound junior guard out of Chicago, Illinois, a transfer from Colby Community College, number 11, Javion May. A six foot six, 210 pound junior forward out of Deer Park, Texas, the transfer from Blinn College, number 12, Tristan Ickpay. And last, but certainly not least for the Bearcats, a six foot 280 pound junior guard out of Starkville, Mississippi, and a transfer from East Mississippi Community College, it's number 24, Dante Powers. Again for the Bearcats, it is Lampley, Nuttall, May, Ickpay, and Powers. We are moments away from basketball here in Huntsville, Texas. And Ken, the crowd has really filled in. Love what I'm seeing here this afternoon. Our good friend, Mr. Rushing, Charlie's Used Cars is down there, one of our sponsors. A lot of great folks here tonight. We're also gonna hear from a longtime fan, uh, Mr. Uh, Ron Thompson, gonna talk to him at halftime. So I'm very excited. We talked to his son, Jason, last week. Ron is here tonight. He has been a fan for close to 40 years, a longtime season ticket holder. This is what makes Bearcat basketball so special the interaction, the fans, and many more. Stephen F. Austin in their road purple jerseys and purple shorts. SFA written in black, outlined in white, the numbers in white on the front and the back. The last names written across the jerseys in white as well. And the Southland patch on the left shoulder. The Sam Houston Bearcats in their home white jerseys and white shorts. Says JV on May getting a little touch on the rim as he comes out of the huddle. He's in his white jersey, the white shorts, the numbers in orange outlined in black. Sammy the head logo on the back. Bearcats written across front in orange with that Sam Houston paw. The triangles on the shorts outlined in black and orange. Sam Houston on the left pant leg. Zach Nuttall is ready to roll as he is cheering on the crowd. And we are live here. The first half about to get underway. Ken, I'm excited for this Bearcat game. I'm really feeling the energy and I'm feeling a Bearcat victory tonight, my friend. You know what, I was feeling an energy starting last night, just getting prepared for today, and now I feel it, now that it's, it's, it's upon us. And here's the tip off. Tristan Ikpe will stand at center court alongside the six foot four sophomore forward, Calvin Solomon. And we are underway, Lampley takes it back to JV on May. Dante Powers has it in the backcourt, and we are Live here at 502 in Huntsville, Texas. It's Dante Powers at the top, working a right-handed dribble guarded by Cacoris. He wants to work from the left elbow to May back over to Powers at the top. Powers trapped in his dribble, finds Tristan Ikpe on the right wing. Ikpe over the top, turnover. He was trying to dart it down to Lampley. This was turned over. It's fed too far ahead to Cacoris, and it's turned right back over to the Bearcats. Hey, tell me something here, because I haven't been able to figure this out all season. The fans stand here, yep. but it's not after the first basket, is it? They stand until the opponents score their first okay, basket. Okay, good. So until SFA Hopefully. scores. Now, we had a game earlier in the season where the fans stood up for a long it time was. in the first half. Dante Powers to the left wing, finds Javion May at the left corner, feeding down low, Ikpe able to hold on to it. Not all a little push there on that left wing at the Johnson Coliseum logo. Eight seconds on the shot clock. He'll find Powers. Powers has to shoot this soon. Down to four on the clock. They've got to get it up. It's Lampley with one on the clock for three. It ricochets off the back of the square. No good, but the rebound out there to Javion May. Here's Powers. Thought about a three. Now from the free throw line. Bounces it down. Javion May's rejected. Oh, mama, as he went in off the left side. And the rejection there by Calvin Solomon. Quickly, the slam down there. It's not there. And Tristan Ikpe charged with a blocking foul. Boy, he looked like he was outside of the square as Calvin Solomon was trying to throw it down with authority and the early foul called on Tristan Ikpe. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that, that looked a little questionable there. Looked like Ikpe because Calvin was way at the free throw line to do that dunk and Ikpe just was a solid wall stationary on that play. He's kind of standing down there. Solomon at the line. He is a 67% free throw shooter. This young man... Talking about Calvin Solomon, or he's actually a 77% free throw shooter. Played in all the games this season, started 19 of them. He averages eight points a game. He's on the left side here. Missed the first free throw, trying to take the first lead on the free throw here. This one rattles out. Javion May hauls it in. We're still scoreless with a minute 20 off the clock here at Johnson Coliseum. It's Dante Powers on the left wing. Up top to Ikpe. Ikpe 
Picks up his dribble, finds Nuttall for three. Yes! Yes! Nail it in from downtown, and Zach Nuttall and the Bearcats have an early advantage, 3-0. If he gets hot, watch out. It's Cackleries back the other way on the left side into the hands of Solomon, who was fouled a moment ago. Missed both free throws. Where has it? The pass goes to Johnson on the right wing, guarded by Lampley. Here's the pass to Kinsmill. Kinsmill trying to work something on Ikpe. Instead, he'll pass to Rati Ware on the left wing. Ware not able to connect. Cackleries with the rebound. He was right in position on that left elbow. But here's Dante Powers on the court, not able to hold on to it. And coming up with it and the score, Gavin Kinsmill off the right side. It's 3-2, one-point Bearcat advantage, 17.50 to go here in the first. Over to Tristan Ikpe. Ikpe trying to work, finds May. May skips it over to Powers. Here's another three. Lampley, turn on the lights, baby! It's Demarcus Lampley and the Bearcats with two threes to start this ball game. Six to two, Sam Houston leading here. 17.30 to go in the first. Here's Cackleries, left wing, three. That's an air ball. May have actually scathed off the left side of the rim. So two Moke and Moke attorney at law, three pointers to start this game. As Nuttall driving inside, slicing, dicing. He can't connect, but he's going to the line, shooting two. How about the energy and those three-pointers falling for Sam Houston? They struggled early uh, in a few games. They were looking for some life. They found it coming out of the gate here early tonight, leading this contest 6-2. to two. We'll step aside and take a timeout. We've got our first... Oh, we'll take 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment. 17-16 to go here in the first half. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. March Madness is here, and so is the March Madness sales event right here at Wiesner in Huntsville. Come take advantage of these great deals and get $3,450 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Encore GX and a 2021 all-new redesigned Buick Envision or $4,700 in purchase allowance on the 2021 Buick Encore. You get up to $5,950 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Enclave. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville or online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland as Zach Nuttall at the line here. 72% free throw shooter. The first one takes a bounce off. Got to find a way. That's going to be one area you've got to be careful of tonight is from that charity stripe. He's at the Charlie's Used Cars free throw line for the first time tonight. Ken, in that previous game back at the end of January in the Sam Houston loss, 78-68 to over uh, versus Sam Houston. Now, the Bearcats only shot six of 20 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line. They already have two here to start this game. Here's Nuttall's next Charlie's used cars free throw. Doesn't connect on both of them. Got to find a way to get inside with that here tonight. Back over the other way. It's a pass down low into the hands of Kinsmill. He'll turn around from the right side. Uh, that shot, not there, but a foul was called. Hey, Brian Adams up here in the house tonight. So good to see. I called Brian I said, you better get up here, big Bearcat. Well, is he going to throw me out of here? <laughs> no, he's not, man. <laughs> I told him to come out and support these guys tonight, and he's here. So free throws coming up here for Stephen F. Austin on the left side. They're trailing 6-2. to two. We're almost three minutes gone here in the first. Bends his knees. First free throw on the way by Charlie Daniels. He misses. Well, we'll take it. Rob, watch the matchup between Tristan Ikpe and Kinsmill. With, with SFA. That's going to be a, a, a big-time matchup with those two guys tonight. Here's the next free throw. He'll bend his knees. The right-handed delivery bounces around. It's no good. And Stephen F. Austin cannot connect from the foul, foul throw line tonight. And here come the Bearcats. It's Dante Powers on the right wing. Ikpe high screen. He'll rotate down to the right key. Too high of a pass, but luckily Nuttall able to hold it. Here on the right wing, Zach Nuttall with the right-handed dribble. As he passed it from his left hand, still working it, mouth the top of the three over the left wing to Marcus Lampley. Here's Dante Powers from downtown, too strong, and a good position there by Kinsmill on the rebound. Stephen F. Austin back with it. Kinsmill up top, darts one over to Cackle Reese. Cackle Reese rotates over to the right wing. He was at that right corner, guarded by Powers. Nuttall trying to reach in for a steal. Oh, and it's JB on May to Zach Nuttall. Zach Nuttall throwing it down with authority, baby. How about that? As the Bearcats get a dunk early here in this one, leading 8-2. to two. That is the energy we were waiting on, and the Bearcats have brought it early tonight here at Johnson Coliseum. It's Cackle Reese. 
Over to the left side, his team trailing 8-2, to two, 16 minutes to go here in the first. Cackleries a left-handed pass to Rati Ware on the left wing, guarded by Javion May. He'll bounce this one down to Gavin Kinsmill. Back up top, into the hands of Ware. Ware trying to work a dribble. Right hand, hop step from the south and logo in the paint. That jumper not good. Gets the rebound, Daniels, and he's able to put it up off the left side. So a second chance opportunity there for Stephen F. Austin. Dante Powers has it back on the right wing. Bearcats with a four-point advantage. Tristan Ikpe, he takes a jumper. That one a little short. The rebound, JV on May. Here's not all left wing three off the back of the rim. And we've got a foul on the floor. That foul is against Kinsmill. Gavin Kinsmill. Gavin Kinsmill, a little too much of a push. He'll discuss things with the official, and that will bring us to our first media timeout. Sam Houston, 8, Stephen F. Austin, 4, 15, 27 to go here in the first. We'll be right back on the Bearcats Sports Network. The spring roundup sale is on in Cavenders, and it's time to save on boots. Get 10 to 15% off select men's and ladies' western boots by Justin, Ariad, Corral, Lucchese, and more. Plus, get 10% off rugged work boots by Durango, Justin, Double H, and Rocky. You can always trust Cavenders for authentic western style at great prices. So hurry in now and save on boots during the spring roundup sale at Cavenders. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home. The Deer Lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland. Bearcats leading 8-4, to 15-27 to go here in the first half. A good start for Sam Houston as they are 2-5 of five from downtown, 3-8 of eight overall from the field. The defense has been good here so far tonight. Bearcats have only turned it over once through those first five minutes or so. They've, boarded, they've hauled down six boards, three on the offense, three on the defense. Stephen F. Austin, though, getting some second chance points. Those second chance points, all four of them, is why they have four on the board right now, Ken. Well, they're going to be really good at that, uh, getting those boards and being aggressive going back at it. But what's going to be really interesting, the depth that SFA does not have compared to what the, the Bearcats do, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out through the rest of this half and into the game. This is a matchup that goes back to at least February the 20th, 1956. Bearcats 58 wins all time, 80 losses. They have lost the last three, so trying to get some redemption here tonight. The last victory came on March the 9th, 2019. It was in that 18-19 season. Believe it or not, it was on the road in Nacogdoches, a 68-57 victory. So the Bearcats trying to stop a three-game skid versus this very tough Lumberjack team. And that win kept SFA out of the tournament that year, which was really big to get that done at it down there in Nacogdoches. So we come out of the media timeout. Bearcats with that four-point advantage. Dante Powers will inbound under his own rim on the right baseline, standing on the tee of the Bearcats logo. So he'll slap it once in his left hand, up to high over to Nuttall. He'll take a three with a hand in his face. He'll bury the three. Wow. It's Zach Nuttall coming alive here in the first. How about it for Sam Houston? Three Moke and Moke attorney at law three-pointers to start this game. It's a seven-point advantage as the Lumberjacks trailing here 11 to 4. Over to the left corner, oh, I think that one went off the fingertips. Nope, Lampley, they say Lampley touched it. Boy, for a moment there, I thought that Nigel Hawkins may have got a fingertip on it, but they say no, it was Lampley, and the possession will remain with the Lumberjacks. Yeah. The Lumberjack faithful making their way out here to Huntsville as always, by the way. Hawkins inbounding near his own left corner. Lampley in front of him with 17 on the shot clock. Chest pass goes to Cackleries left wing, high screen. Auntie with Bajaco back up top here. We'll just call him Nana. We'll keep it easy tonight. Cackleries at the top, looking down over to Hawkins on the left wing. Nana showing pressure, and he has it at the buzzer. Nana was down there, Ken, as he had good separation calling for it in the post and easily able to drop it in. 
Here's Dante Powers on the right wing, rotating to the top. Inside, tries to throw one up on an oop to Ikpe, and it's turned over. Kakalris, one-on-one up front to the left side, and that shot is good. Dante Powers had quick defense to get back, but just not in enough of time. It's an 11-8 Bearcat lead as Stephen F. Austin has made three of their last three shots. Powers to the right wing. He'll find Javion May from the corner to the Southland logo in the paint. Back to Powers. Here's Nuttall. Right wing three again. This time it's not there. May have had a little bit of a hand interfering with him. There was no call. Cackleries on the far side with a left-handed dribble from the right elbow. We'll pick it up. Up top to Daniels, who's hit a jumper earlier in this game. Daniels over to Rotti Ware on the left wing, guarded by Nuttall. And we've got a three-second violation. It's a turnover, the third one of the night by the Lumberjacks. So the Bearcats holding on to a three-point advantage. Their largest lead was seven when it was 11-4. to four. So it has been a 4-0 run here by the Lumberjacks over these last few minutes. 13.53 to go here in the first half. Bryce Monroe brings it across the Sam Houston logo at center court. By the way, Hooten's jacket is off. It is off. Monroe trying to work inside the paint, takes a jumper from just inside the free throw line. It's not there, but how about the rebound by JV on May? Zach Nuttall zigzagging the pass, the shot by May. Not able to connect, but he gets his own rebound. Left wing three, Nuttall, it's not there. And the rebound into the hands of Nana. It's Rati Ware on the far side from right to left. Ball goes up top to Charlie Daniels. He'll strike inside. That shot not good as he went for a layup off the left side of the glass. Bearcats back with it. It's Zach Nuttall from the top with a left-handed dribble down to May. Trying to wiggle his way. This one blocked. Nana got a hand on it. It is blocked. That was a clean block. Good block there by Nana. On the near side, Stephen F. Austin's Ware wanting to work from the left wing. Nuttall guarding him. Ball goes up top to Daniels. And it bounces off of Lampley's back. It's a turnover. May's not ready for it. And a turnover back the other way. Nigel Hawkins has it at the Paul logo. Boy, you got to be careful. That was almost a backcourt violation as he fed it into the backcourt to Rati Ware. Now on the right wing, it is Cameron Johnson, and Johnson is fouled on his way into the rim. So Bryce Monroe will pick up his first personal. That is the third team foul by Sam Houston here in this first half of play. Oh, that one, though, in the act of shooting will send it. Well, boy, I thought it was in the act of shooting. And uh, you know what? As a Bearcat fan, I'll say, hey, that's fine by me. If it was the other way around, I wouldn't be too happy, Ken. So the Lumberjacks will inbound here. In their own right baseline. Bounce pass to Johnson. And Jaron Cook was in his face, and he was able to lay that one up off the left side. It's only a one-point advantage now for the Bearcats as Stephen F. Austin has gone on a 6-0 run here. Bryce Monroe, Rocket Man. Kean Scroggins is out here early on the give and go to Scroggins. He'll turn around, jump, oh. yes! Oh, baby, how about it for Kean Scroggins? The freshman turning around, laying it up off of that assist there moments ago. Boy, you know, that previous game versus Texas A&M Corpus was such a huge boost for Kean Scroggins. And because of his performance, those eight career points, I'm telling you, man, he's going to start getting a lot more playing time now. He's a true freshman. He's been inserted in some ball games throughout the year and produced every time out. And you're correct, last game he had a just a phenomenal effort. 13-10 to 10 as the Lumberjacks trailing here, 12.04 remaining in the first. It goes up top to Hawkins. Hawkins, Johnson down. He'll find his teammate, Kinsmill. Now the other way, Hawkins trying to flip it up off the right side, and he bounces that one in. Boy, a nice extension there. Got to give him credit as he dropped it in. Sam Houston only leading by one, 13 to 12, with 11.42 to go here in the first half. Monroe on the near side brings it into the front court on the right wing. He is guarded by Kinsmill. Rotating to the left wing from the Johnson Coliseum logo, and he turns it over. Zach Nuttall's telling him to slow down. They'll get a quick little high five over there, and Dante Powers will check back in. So for now, though, we will take it to a timeout as an opportunity here for the Lumberjacks to take the first lead of the night if they can get a bucket here on their possession that's coming up. 13 to 12, Sam Houston by one, 11.32 to go here in the first. We'll take one minute on a media timeout. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. 
Ablo. It's Ablo? Yes. It's Ablo. <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Since my husband is from Guatemala, I'll apply what I've learned in Babbel to our real life situations. The app is so easy to use and it's so practical. It helps you learn things that you will actually need. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. They don't build cars like they used to, and they don't repair them like they used to either. Today's vehicles contain advanced lightweight materials and safety features like crumple zones and sensors that help protect your family. Repairing them properly after a collision requires up-to-date training. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 has it. They're among only 15% of shops to meet the industry's highest training standards. As a gold-class business, when you pick a collision repair shop, make the smart choice for your family's safety. Choose gold-class trained repair professionals. Choose Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45. Welcome back, friends. A pleasant good afternoon. Good evening to you, 520 here in Southeast Texas. I'm Rob Pipp alongside Ken Holland from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry wonderfully made at Sam Houston men's basketball, the final game of the regular season before the Southland Conference Tournament starts up in Katy next week. Bearcats with a one-point advantage, 13-12. to As out of the gate, shooting 5 of 15. Things a little hot for Sam Houston at first. They've cooled off now as... The Lumberjacks have made five of their last six shots. Yeah, after a little bit of a cold start by the Jacks, they're gotten back in it. They're going to be aggressive. This is going to be an aggressive game all the way to the end, Rob. It's going to be, I, I don't know, you got your heart medicine here tonight? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm getting to that age, man. Yeah, you know, you can never be too young. Got to take care of yourself. But, yeah, this is going to be a – a battle throughout on the court right now for the Bearcats. Coming out of this timeout is Jaron Cook, Demarcus Lampley, Kean Scroggins. And check out the conversation that Zach Nuttall is having with the freshmen. It's the junior leadership to the freshmen explaining things. And what I like to see, how about Dante Powers out there as well, is he is talking to Lampley. A lot of communication with yep. this team. Those are young men stepping up guiding each other that's what you want to see and that is a sign of excellent coaching and unbelievable team chemistry and did you see how Ken Scroggins was receiving that talk from Zach oh yeah that, that's that's the other side of it too one point Bearcat advantage Stephen F Austin with the ball they are trailing 13 to 12 11 25 to go here in the first the Jacks have it moving from right to left over to the left wing into the hands of Cameron Johnson Johnson, right-handed pass up top to Kinsmill, and we've got a turnover. It's an offensive foul against the Jacks. That foul is on Antwe Bajako. Nana Antwe Bajako with the foul. And that is his first personal and the third team foul of this first half. Bearcats back with it. It's Dante Powers to the right side. Nuttall trying to run baseline, but he was cut off. Powers on the right wing, double team, trying to dive his way inside. Swings it down, Scroggins from the free throw line. He wants to work inside, and an offensive foul there. Keying a little bit too aggressive. I think Calvin Solomon sold that a little bit, though. I don't see how a guy that's six foot four could go flying back 10 feet. You know, they do <laughs> call that. As a warning, right, if they do a flop, but obviously the referee yeah. saw a charge there. It probably was. 13-12, to 12, Jack's back with it here, trailing 10.50 to go in the first. Over the right wing, Nigel Hawkins, guarded by Jaron Cook. Swinging this one down low to that right corner, Kinsmill, guarded by Kean Scroggins. Good defense out here. Kean with his hands up. Excellent defense. Turn around. Kean with the defense. Wow. Rejects the shot, and it goes back to the Bearcats. It is Zach Nuttall on the near side from left to right. High screen, Scroggins. Nuttall weaving through traffic, right side. The shot not there. It was a good high screen there by Kean Scroggins. Nuttall had a lane, but it collapsed quickly as he got down there inside the paint. It's Hawkins now back the other way on the left wing. The bounce pass goes down to Kinsmill, guarded by Scroggins. Again, Scroggins had that good defense, and this one thrown away as Kinsmill was looking to Antwi Bajako, and he was nowhere to be found as it goes out of bounds. My goodness, we have seen several turnovers here now, four by Sam Houston in the last five minutes. They have not scored in over two minutes, Ken. So the Bearcats have got to find something here as Kean Scroggins will head back over to the bench and Coach Hooten will give him a high five. What great play by that young man. DeMarcus Lampley back into the game. Jaron Cook remains out there. Dante Powers has it on the right side, guarded up front by 
Cackle Reese into the hands of Ikpe. Bounce pass down to Nuttall on the pass to Powers for three. No, it's not there. The Bearcats are now cooling off from downtown, uh, going three of nine. They made a couple in a row earlier. Into the hands of Cackle Reese. Lumberjacks trailing by one, 13 to 12. They've made five of their last seven shots. Down low, it's knocked away. Holding on to oh. it, though, and the ball goes out of bounds. Solomon lost it as Nuttall was down there, poked it away. But the ball goes out of bounds off of Sam Houston with 14 seconds on the shot clock for Stephen F. Austin. Now Bryce Monroe will check back into the game. It's Rocket Man, the freshman in for Demarcus Lampley. Monroe playing in just two minutes so far. Missed his only shot he took from the field earlier. Lumberjacks to inbound. Cackleries all the way up top to where. Guarded by Powers. High screen. Give and go. Kinsmill over the right corner. Pass goes into the hands of Johnson. Johnson back to Cackleries with four on the shot clock. Cackleries straight away. He was wide open and he nailed it. Can't leave that young man wide open. David Cackleries, a 40% free throw, a three point shooter. Those are some unbelievable numbers from downtown. Bearcats trailing by two, 15 to 13. Ikpe, corner three, Powers rolls in and out. Boy, it swooped right in and popped right out. The Bearcats have gone cold, making only one of their last nine shots. It's a two-point advantage. Here's a jumper for two. This shot isn't there. Offensive rebound by Kinsmill. Over to Cackleries, left wing, who hit that three straight away just moments ago. At the top is Cameron Johnson, guarded by Jaron Cook, trying to feed down low. That's out of bounds off Solomon, and that's a Bearcat basketball. It's the seventh turnover of the night by the Lumberjacks. 15 to 13, Bearcats trailing, 8.45 to go here in the first. They've led in this ball game by as many as seven when it was 11 to four. They have only scored one basket since then. It's Bryce Monroe guarded by Cackleries on the left wing at the Johnson Coliseum logo, and he traveled. Um, that's one of those. I, you know, that's one thing about basketball that I remember is whenever you make a play and your defender claps in your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that got me so – that actually got me kicked out of the rec center when I was growing up. <laughs> I got so angry, Ken, that I took the table that had Gatorade all over it and I threw it upside down. That was back in my anger days, Ken. I've cooled off since then. Is that why you're doing this now? That's why I'm doing this now. Well, you know, and that's why they put me up here because I can't – you know, you can't throw things very far. I can't throw very far. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we keep it professional. Up at the top here is Rati Ware. Solomon to the left side, floats it up, and that shot's good. On the hesitation there, and he will eyeball Zach Nuttall as he runs backwards. 17 to 13, Bearcats trailing by four. They have turned it over three times in the last five minutes, only making one of their last nine shots. Dante Powers from the left wing, he turns wow. it over, right into the hands of Solomon. Solomon one-on-one, -on -one. Cook lays it up, easy does it off the left side. And Coach Hooten has had enough as he will call timeout. Bearcats have got to put a stop to this run as they have not scored now in over almost five minutes. 19 to 13. Bearcats have it when we come back in one minute. 7.53 to go here in the first on the Bearcats Sports Network. It's time to gear up for the rodeo and time to save on denim at Cavender's. Right now, men's and ladies' area jeans are 10 bucks off. Wrangler cowboy cut jeans and rock and roll denim jeans are buy two, get one free. Plus, cinch jeans are buy one, get one 50% off. You can always trust Cavender's for authentic Western style. So hurry in now and save at Cavender's, your rodeo headquarters. Eric Barbosa, General Manager at Henson Chevy Buick GMC, and we're letting the good deals roll during our parade of savings. We're rolling out 10 models with payments under $300 a month. We'll even throw in a big screen TV. Plus get a warranty for life with no deductible and unlimited miles at no cost to you, and we even deliver for free. Get rolling with big savings today at Henson Chevy, your dealer for life. Henson Chevy, HensonChevy.com. Seven fifty-three to go here in the first half. Rob Hip alongside my good friend Ken Holland as the Bearcats trailing nineteen to thirteen versus longtime rival Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. These games were made possible in part by Dakery BB Abbey Realty. It's Huntsville's real estate expert. Bring home the win with Dakery BB Abbey Realty. Moke and Moke attorneys at law for your estate planning, real estate, or business law needs. Ask for Moke and Moke attorneys at law. Serving Huntsville since 1971. 
True Texas Barbecue. Smoke with Texas oak wood for up to 14 hours. Barbecue by the plate or pound, plus delicious sides like brisket, beans, cream, corn, potato salad, and coleslaw. Are you hungry tonight, Huntsville? Head over to H-E-B Huntsville and True Texas Barbecue. Also, Charlie's Used Cars, our good friend Tim Rushing, customer satisfaction is our number one priority. If you're out there watching us tonight in the booth, on our social media stream, send us a comment. Let us know where you're listening from, who you're cheering on. We'd love to hear from you. If you're on the radio here in Huntsville or on our digital app, you can also text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that Bearcat fan text line is open tonight at 512-522-9105. Already got a text coming in. My good buddy Joshua Harris with the Oak Ridge Disciple House uh, saying that Elizabeth and he are listening and uh, been a lot of fun here tonight in this one so far. Appreciate you, Josh. The Oak Ridge Disciple House has been a supporter of athletics as well. You can find out more information about their ministry and how they're helping young men 18 and older who are suffering from addictions at OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. Check them out if you know somebody who needs help tonight. Back in action we are as Bryce Monroe will take the inbound from Dante Powers. Bearcats trailing here as Monroe will flip it over to Ikpe inside the circle. Turn around, he is rejected, but able to hold on to it. He'll put it up again off the left side. That second effort is good on the play by Tristan Ikpe. That's the way to do it. Ikpe using his athletic ability. Even though he was stuffed, he was able to hold on to it. Back the other way here as Cacklery's floats inside, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line shooting too. It is on Zach Nuttall. It is his first personal and the fifth team foul by Sam Houston. So two more will put the Jacks in the bonus. David Kakaris, the senior guard at six foot one, shooting free throws, a 71% free throw shooter. He has 24 of 34 entering this game and made the first one. DeMarcus Lampley will check into the game. Zach Nuttall over to the bench. So on the court for Sam Houston. In the keys, it is Javion May, Dante Powers, Jaron Cook, and DeMarcus Lampley. Bryce Monroe standing there on the right wing. The second free throw is good as well for Kakaris. Kakaris got a little bit of kind of oomph to him. Mm -hmm. Kind of knows he's good. Back over the other way here is Bryce Monroe at the top of the three with a right-handed dribble. He'll find Dante Powers on the right wing. Bearcats looking for a score here. They desperately need one. Over to Ikpe. Ikpe darts it. Jaron Cook from the corner. This one won't fall. Boy, the stove was about to turn on, and Cook not able to connect from downtown, and the Bearcats have went cold from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-pointer after nailing three early ones. Fed it down here to Solomon inside the paint. As Jaron Cook, great defense on him. Down low, turn around off the right side. Shot not there by Charlie Daniels. The rebound to the Cats. It is Bryce Monroe on the near side, wanting to move quickly from the top. Boy, Tristan Ickpay is wide open down there on the baseline. He'll dart inside, double team. Cook again for three, way downtown. This shot won't fall either. So two missed threes back to back for Jaron Cook. Coach Hooten's not happy right now. You can see the expression on his face. 21 to 15, Stephen F. Austin's Kakaris trying to fly inside, right corner three, this one on the way off the front of the rim, it's no good, rebound Hawkins, the put back there. Bearcats have only made one of their last seven shots, four turnovers in the last six minutes, and Stephen F. Austin on a 13 to two run. Dante Powers at the top, his team trailing 23 to 15, 558 to go here in the first half. Powers, bounce pass to Ikpe. Ikpe trying to back his defender down as he'll front him up now, and a foul here on Kakaris. Yep, that's a foul on you, Kakaris. <laughs> that sure is. He's staring down the official over there, and yeah, that's a foul, young man. <laughs> so the foul is on David Kakaris. Believe that is his first personal. It is the fourth team foul by Stephen F. Austin. So Javion May back into the game for Jaron Cook. Nuttall also out there as he's back in. Dante Powers to inbound here for Sam Houston, trailing 23 to 15. Way up high to Nuttall, almost got it stripped away. Nuttall able to hold on to it. From the top, from the right elbow, takes an awkward jumper, yes! Oh, mama, what a play. Nuttall was wanting the foul. He didn't get it, but he buried the shot. 23 to 17. Lumberjacks up front. Over on the left wing, it is Rati Ware. 
He'll find Kinsmill down low, has to kick it back out as he was double teamed, and it's knocked away and turned over. Dante Powers has it on the far side from left to right. He tried to turn on some juice. Now he'll take a three from the wing. This one off the back of the rim. And the rebound by Igpe. Igpe has the rebound through two defenders. The shot clock didn't reset. Surprised about that as Dante Powers has it on the right corner. Nuttall now to the right wing. He is guarded by Johnson with nine seconds on the clock. Over to Ikpe, finds Lampley, left corner three. This one an air ball, oh my goodness. Somebody turn off the air conditioner on that right side of the court. Here comes Johnson back the other way. I think it went off his hip. It's a double dribble and turned over to the Bearcats. The ninth turnover of the game. Sam Houston has to capitalize here. Here's Kakoris back onto the court as he'll get a high five from Johnson. Kakaris with seven points in this ball game already in 10 minutes. He's two of three from the field and one of two from downtown. And a perfect two of two from the charity stripe. Bearcats back with it. 4.49 to go here in the first half. Trailing by six, 23 to 17. Dante Powers to Zach Nuttall on the right corner. He'll take a three. This one on the way and it's no good. JV on May not able to haul in that rebound. Kinsmill has it. To the far side, Rotti Ware. Rotti trying to feed down low, and Ikpe pokes it away. Here comes Lampley. It's one on two. Lampley takes a jumper for two. Yes, buries it. How about that for Demarcus Lampley just inside the left wing? And the Bearcats finally finding some rhythm here on three turnovers by the Lumberjacks in the last two minutes. As Kakoris has it, a pass over to the left wing into the hands of Rotti Ware. Back up top to Kinsmill. He's sizing up there on Ikpe. Ware has it on Javion May guarding him. Picks up his dribble, passes this one up top to Kinsmill. He wants to work inside, slams it down. Don't break our rim. 25-19. Bearcats trailing, 3.50 to go here in the first half. Sam Houston shooting 8 of 27 from the field. Dante Powers at the top. Ikpe is from the left corner, finds Lampley to nut all on the left corner. Lampley from the baseline to May. I don't think he wanted that, but he passed it to JV on May. Good heads up play. Swings this one down to Ikpe, trying to size up on two defenders. This one poked away. No fouls down here. Unbelievable. And here comes Rati Ware. He'll put this one up. And of course, Kakaris is there to clean it up. A lot of contact here. And Coach Hooten is livid with some of his players right now. 27 to 19. I believe it's. Well, that's. Is that the score? I see 20. Yep, there they finally got it updated. 27 to 19. We'll keep it right here, Ken. Is I'm telling you, Sam Houston has just got to get some momentum here. They find a little bit, but then they allow Stephen F. Austin to get a couple of fast breaks, and that really cuts away that momentum. Yeah, and they have quite a few empty possessions as well, and that's hurting them right now. Uh, they, they need to make their shots and a lot of aggressive play, but sometimes that aggressiveness turns into turnovers and missed shots and things of that nature. So they need to just calm down run their game plan. Well, you talk about empty possessions. How about 10 turnovers for Stephen F. Austin? The Bearcats have only scored four points off of those turnovers. On the flip side, the Bearcats have turned it over only eight times. Stephen F. Austin has scored 10 points off of those eight turnovers. Also, the boards have been there. Of course, Stephen F. has a little bit taller lineup. Uh, our guys are pretty short. As far as that goes, a smaller lineup, if you will. Right. And Stephen F. Austin out rebounding us by six right now, 19 to 13. 13 of them on the defensive side, but we do have, or Sam Houston has seven offensive rebounds. The difference so far, too, besides those points off turnovers, how about 22 in the paint by the Lumberjacks? Kakaris has nine in this game. Every player that's been on the court besides Ware has scored so far, so really good ball distribution. On the flip side for Sam Houston, all players except three have scored. Dante Powers, uh, Bryce Monroe, and Jaron Cook. Powers has been out there 14 minutes. He's 0 of 4 from the field. He's struggling right now. Yeah, you saw Zach Nottall came back in the game and wanted the ball and took it and got us a bucket after being idle for a little while. I think he's going to get out there and try to get his team. timeout here. By the way, if you're out there watching or listening, we'd love to hear from you tonight. You can text us at 512-522-9105. That is the Bearcat fan text line. It's open at 512-522-9105. And if you're on our social media feeds, uh, let us know you're out there tonight. Greg Smith and Rhonda Ellisor listening from Orlando, Florida. 
saying, eat them up, cats. Angie Banks, good to see you out there, Angie. As she is watching, saying she loves the lineup. Couldn't agree more with you tonight, Angie. Also, Miss Lampley joining us, saying, let's go, Bearcats. Turn on the light lamp. Lamp had a three earlier to really get things rolling as the Bearcats had a 7-0 early advantage or a seven-point advantage when it was 11-4. But they have cooled off tremendously here, only shooting 8 of 27 from the field. On the flip side, Ken, the Lumberjacks 12 of 22 tonight. Back in it here from Huntsville as the Bearcats have it, trailing 27 to 19 from left to right. It is Dante Powers at the top, behind the back dribble. Cackleries guarding him. Powers be nice for him to get a basket here and find a little bit of life. Javion May has it at the top. Left wing over to Nuttall. Nuttall trying to shake a defender. High screen, Kian Scroggins, who's back in there. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Drop it off over to Lamp. Back to Nuttall for three with the hand in his face. That one isn't there. Javion May hauling down the rebound, and he has it. And a jump ball. Oh, my goodness. What? You have got to be kidding me. I don't want to get into this, Ken, but I will say this. May hauled in the rebound. And that defender that was on him touched the ball for less than half a second. And he was over his back. And he was over his back. Yeah. Javion May got a pass back to his teammate, and they call a jump ball, and it will turn over back to Stephen F. Austin. You know, at that Abilene Christian game, I kind of had one of my more energetic broadcasts. I'm not going to repeat that here tonight, Ken. 27 to 19, 251 to go here in the first. As the Lumberjacks have it back on the left side, it's Cackleries. Bounce pass goes down to Nigel Hawkins, who checked back in just moments ago to Rati Ware. From the left baseline, darts it over. Cack oh, <laughs> wow. Cackleries with the foul here. I don't know what that was. Looked like he lost the handle on it, and then there was a late whistle. Well, the foul is called on Demarcus Lampley. It is his first personal, the sixth team foul. That was not in the act of shooting. And so Cackle Reese will inbound on his own baseline on the S Bearcats logo on the right side. Inbounds it to Rati Ware. Not there. Cackle Reese left corner three. Nope, not there. Javion May with the rebound. Here's Dante Powers over to Javion May on the left wing. May wanting to aggressively drive in. Offensive foul, Javion May. I'd like to see that on a replay. Gavin or Gavin Kinsmill taking it here and yeah that's a charge that is a charge he got there just in the nick of time 27 19 Bearcats have not scored in over two minutes Lumberjacks leading here with 217 to go in the first it's been a low scoring first half for Sam Houston Cackle over to Ware on the right wing guarded by May he'll rotate around a high screen from Antwi Bajako Back over to Ware. Inside, Kean Scroggins next to him. That shot missed. Scroggins hauled down the rebound. Here come the Bearcats. Quickly up, Powers. As that ball bounces off his right hip and it's turned over. The crowd here wanting a foul. And I, I can tell you this, Ken. Cats are not going to get a foul. Doesn't seem like it tonight. And I will say one thing. I have to call it as I see it. The Bearcats look winded right now. Got to find a little bit of life here. JV on May will head over to the bench. He'll get a high five from head coach Jason Hooten. Coach Mudge out there as well. The assistant giving him a high five. 27-19, 153 to go here in the first half. Bearcats trailing. They've turned it over three times in the last two and a half minutes. They have not scored in that same time frame. As the Jacks will inbound, it's Antwi Bajako to David Cackleries, the senior, crossing the half-court logo, guarded by Monroe. Lampley able to turn it over, and he saves it. It is Rocket Man over to Lampley, right corner three. They whistle this one dead. He stepped out. You've got to be kidding me. Bearcats with 11 turnovers. Oh, well, the three-pointer, if it makes you feel any better, it didn't go in anyways. Cackleries has the inbound from Antwe, from Antwe Bajako. Over the right wing, it's Cameron Johnson. Cackleries right corner, rotates to the right wing. Bryce Monroe guarding him. High screen, Antwe Bajako. Over to Johnson. That ball is saved. No, and Lampley able to hold on to it. Lampley to the right side. That shot missed. 
DeMarcus Lampley had Johnson trailing him, and he missed the layup. And now the ball goes out of bounds off of Rotti Ware. Boy, it's turnover city here. This has been an ugly game on both sides on of the both ball. Sides, yeah. You talked about a low-scoring ball game. I mean, Stephen F. just has 27 with a minute left in the half. I mean, this is a – I don't know the record book. When's the last time Sam Houston, you know, scored under 30 and a half? Well, they both average about 80 points a game, so – it's going to be difficult to get there at this pace. It's moved quickly, though. Under a minute here. Bearcats trailing 27-19 in the first half. Monroe trying to take a jumper here from the left elbow. Well short. And Antwi Bajako with the rebound. Goes over to Cackleries to where? It's about a 20-second differential on that play clock and shot clock. To Kinsmill. Kian Scroggins sizing him up on the left elbow. Handoff goes over to Johnson. Actually, it is Rati Ware. Ware down to Kinsmill. Inside the paint. Not going to get a block here. It's a foul. It's on Tristan Ikpe. It is the second personal on Tristan Ikpe. He's not even on the board up there. Things are moving so fast, they can't even keep the board updated. <laughs> second personal on Tristan Ikpe. That is the seventh team foul. Free throws the rest of the way here for the Lumberjacks. First free throw on the way, and this one is good. It's only the third make. Three of seven now from the line for the Lumberjacks. Again, it is Kinsmill out the line. One of one. 28 to 19. An opportunity here for the Jacks to stretch it to 10. A victory here tonight would put the Bearcats in the share with Nichols for the Southland title. Here's the next free throw. This one bounces around, no good. Of course, Nichols had a little bit of an easier road to get there, not having to play teams like Stephen F. Austin. Just have to say it how it is. And that Ab Abilene Christian yep. as well, top three teams. They only played Sam Houston twice, and Sam Houston beat them. 28-19, Bearcats will hold for the last shot. It is Monroe, and he turned it over. Or was it a foul, Ken? Was it an offensive foul? I think it was an illegal pick. Uh, four and a half seconds to go here. The Lumberjacks will have it back with a nine-point advantage. Boy, I saw a replay. I didn't really see anything. I let the women play through it. Let the guys play through it as well. Javion May will check back into the game. Kean Scroggins heads over to the bench. On the court for the Bearcats, it's Lampley, Ikpe, Nuttall, Javion May, and Bryce Monroe. Three seconds, down to two for the Lumberjacks. Cackleries takes a three at the buzzer. It's short. Well, that's one good positive note heading into the locker room without a three-pointer at the buzzer. 28-19, to 19, that first half was one of the fastest first halves I have called this year as it only took 45 minutes of playing time or of total time to go through that first half, Ken. 28 to 19, Bearcats will head into the locker room trailing. We'll be back in a moment here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Halftime coming up. Whether it's a new firearm, cleaning kit, Kydex holster, knife, or knife sharpening, they have it all at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They also offer $15 FFL transfers, layaway, and gift certificates for that hard-to-shop loved one. Go by and see them today. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, they're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call 936-439-6727. Bullets, blades, and concealment. Improve your health and well being this year at Snap Fitness. Snap Fitness offers 24 7 memberships and will make you feel like family. Snap Fitness is a sure way to meet your fitness goals and help you thrive in 2021 with cardio equipment, weight machines, free weights, and great personal trainers. Drop by today to set up a tour and start your wellness and health journey. Snap Fitness Huntsville is located next to Boot Barn. Visit snapfitness.com or find us on Facebook at Snap Snap Fitness Huntsville. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov 
or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. March Madness is here, and so is the March Madness sales event right here at Wiesner in Huntsville. Come take advantage of these great deals and get $3,450 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Encore GX and a 2021 all-new redesigned Buick Envision or $4,700 in purchase allowance on the 2021 Buick Encore. You get up to $5,950 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Enclave. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville or online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. The Spring Roundup sale is on at Cavenders, and it's time to save on boots. Get 10 to 15% off select men's and ladies' western boots by Justin, Ariad, Corral, Lucchese, and more. Plus, get 10% off rugged work boots by Durango, Justin, Double H, and Rocky. You can always trust Cavenders for authentic western style at great prices. So hurry in now and save on boots during the Spring Roundup sale at Cavenders. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to-go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. Well, 28 to 19 here at the half. Stephen F. Austin finding some life here as they lead by nine as uh, we head here into the halftime. 11.40 to go before we get things started in the second half. Uh, real quick, got a special interview coming up here in just a few moments, but wanted to point this out. Uh, it's not a stat that you want to be known for that 19 points, at least according to the record book in 2019, it was the lowest output by Sam Houston in the first half since 19, well, you go back to 1979 and 80 season when they only scored 21 away at Howard Payne. 19 at home at Johnson Coliseum versus Stephen F. Austin is not going to get it done. You know that Hooten is going to get these guys fired up and I predict that they come out at halftime and they're going to shoot lights out. So let's get that turned around in the second half. Well, it's my privilege and honor to be joined now by a good friend, Mr. Ron Thompson. I'm going to turn the camera over for those of you that are on the social media feed. Mr. Ron Thompson joining us. We talked to uh, your son, Jason, just a few nights ago. And I said, we got to get Mr. Ron up here. You've been a long time Bearcat, my friend. You know, how long have you been a, a season ticket holder? Since about 1990. So it's been a while. Yes, 30-plus 30, 30 years. 30-plus years. So your loyalty to this community, to this university, you know, and, and from a fan perspective tonight, of course, it's the busiest game that we've had. I think we hit COVID capacity tonight. I think so. It's good to see that. You know, from a fan perspective, Mr. Thompson, how important is it for folks to get out here and support these student athletes? Oh, the, these young men and young women, they work their tails off all year long, every day at practice sometimes two a day, they've earned this. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, what can you say about them? They're, they're growing, they're learning, they're becoming young adults. They are young adults, but they're developing their social skills while they're also doing this. And you know, this group this year and, and the women playing earlier, they lost a tough one, but you know, specifically here talking about the men, the women do a great job as well, but this has been a very special group of young men this season. I know you haven't been able to come to a lot of Is this your first game, by the way, this season? No, this is about my fourth. Your fourth game, okay. I think I made the first three. Yes, sir. Well, you know, this group this year is tremendously special, and, and how neat has it been to watch guys like a Zach Nuttall grow and mature, and he's only a junior. Yes. Uh, I remember watching him his freshman year, and he just he thought he could do it all. But – pretty well now he can do most everything so that's that's the difference thinking you can do it and knowing you can do it really makes the difference and I think Jason and his staff have done an excellent job well you know talking a little bit about you just tell us a little bit about your history kind of family history how you got to this area and, and what drew you here how long you've been here those kind of things well we moved here in 1983 but we originally started out in the panhandle of Texas. 
And whenever I was 15, we moved from there to Concord, California. And I lived 20 years in Concord, California. And then we moved to Huntsville in 1983, and I've been here ever since. What drew you to Huntsville? It's just a nice place to be. It's not a huge city. It's not a small little town. The town I was born in is a little town called Wheeler, but we have at least one famous man that was born there, and he had the same doctor that I had whenever I was born. And he was a uh, commander of the spacecraft that went around the moon when uh, the guys landed. Wow. Alan Bean. Awesome. See, that's why I love chatting with folks, because it's the backstory, you know, and I, yes. I love hearing how your journey and how you came here to Huntsville. Now, you talk about being a ticket holder since 1990. Of course, Division One University right in your own backyard. That's something that I want to remind folks of in Huntsville. There's not a lot of small communities that can say they have a very nice Division One program in their community. He, Huntsville is tremendously blessed to have the university here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you love sports, you love athletics, but a lot of things that people don't realize about this school is the academics are here also. This is a great school for academics. I think Sam Houston graduates a vast majority of their athletes, maybe even more than a lot of the major universities in the country. Now you go to other events as well, not just basketball. Correct. So talk a little bit about that and just maybe, maybe I know it's kind of hard to pick one moment, but if you could think of a moment that's just been something that you'll always remember at a sporting event at Sam Houston, what would that be? I know you, you may have to kind of pick through some. There's been a lot of them. Well, there was one here about three or four years ago. I was sitting right down front down there and there was a gentleman that was sitting to my right and I kept looking at him and looking at him and, and I said, I know him, but I cannot remember where I saw him. He turned out, <coughs> excuse me, he turned out that he wore number 50 for the Houston Rockets. Wow. Do you remember that? Number 50 for the Houston Rockets? I don't think you're old enough. Yeah, who was that? Robert Reed. Robert Reed, wow, yeah. His daughter was going to school at the University of New Orleans, and she was here playing, and she's not quite as tall as he is, but <laughs> she was 6'2", she's 6'2", and she, she could play ball. So there's been a lot of history, a lot of heritage here in this community. It's so good to see a good crowd here tonight for this game, this contest. What are your thoughts heading into that second half? we got to find a way to start shooting the ball. Well, I think when we start putting it up more with a little bit more confidence, they've got their nerves out of the way now. I think the ball's going to start falling. All right. Well, you predicted it. I'm predicting a Bearcat victory tonight to share that Southland Conference. So let's Three get points. Them. Let's get them. Three-point victory. You heard it here from Mr. Ron <laughs> Thompson. Ron, before we let you go, I always ask our guests. Camera's right there on you for those on the social media booth. There's folks listening on the radio as well. Who do you want to say hello to tonight? Uh, well, a special hello to my wife because she's home suffering from broken ankle and she's not allowed to put any weight on it for two or three months, so she's just having to struggle, but we're getting through it. We'll say our prayers to Miss Thompson. Hope you get better soon, <laughs> and we're excited about this ball game. If we can turn it around, we got to get the light turned around. I think we're going to see it. So, Mr. Thompson, appreciate you being here and all that you do in the community and supporting these athletes. You're another prime example of a fan who is dedicated to these student athletes and helping them to bring recognition. So thank you for that, sir. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate Mr. Ron it. Thompson, we're going to step aside. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have more halftime. 420 to go here in the first half. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. Hablo. It's hablo? Yes. It's hablo. <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Since my husband is from Guatemala, I'll apply what I've learned in Babbel to our real life situations. The app is so easy to use and it's so practical. It helps you learn things that you will actually need. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at babbel.com. That's babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com.
They don't build cars like they used to, and they don't repair them like they used to either. Today's vehicles contain advanced lightweight materials and safety features like crumple zones and sensors that help protect your family. Repairing them properly after a collision requires up-to-date training. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 has it. They're among only 15% of shops to meet the industry's highest training standards as a gold-class business. When you pick a collision repair shop, make the smart choice for your family's safety. Choose gold-class trained repair professional. Choose Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45. Eric Barbosa, General Manager at Henson Chevy Buick GMC, and we're letting the good deals roll during our parade of savings. We're rolling out 10 models with payments under $300 a month. We'll even throw in a big screen TV. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductible and unlimited miles at no cost to you, and we even deliver for free. Get rolling with big savings today at Henson Chevy, your dealer for life. Henson Chevy, HensonChevy.com. Whether it's a new firearm, cleaning kit, Kydex holster, knife, or knife sharpening, they have it all at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They also offer $15 FFL transfers, layaway, and gift certificates for that hard-to-shop loved one. Go by and see them today. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, they're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland as we are here from the family, Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, a wonderfully made. Two minutes to go before we get things started in the second half. Uh, Ken, just your brief thoughts on that first half. You know, as I was talking to Mr. Thompson, that was the lowest scoring output since the 79-80 season. Uh, when we scored 21 on the road at Howard Payne in the first half. So uh, hopefully we can overcome that. Yeah, such low output from both teams. It's not their norm, obviously. Um, they both are going to have to regroup. But it's going to be interesting to see how the Bearcats come out of halftime. What did Coach Hooten tell his team to get them to turn this thing around? They just need, a, they need some buckets to hit, some three-pointers to drop get back in this. You know what? Let me correct myself. I was reading this. It's 21 points in the total game, by the way. So it may have not been the lowest since 79-80. In that 79-80 season, the lowest uh, was actually nine points in the first half. So I just wanted to correct myself. I wasn't reading the second column. Wow. Not to say that didn't sound right, but with the Bearcat team, who's a high-powered offense, it, it surely could have been. Regardless, Sam Houston has got to find a way to make some baskets here. We'll step aside and take a break for one brief minute. When we come back, we'll have the second half on the Bearcat Sports Network. Improve your health and well-being this year at Snap Fitness. Snap Fitness offers 24-7 memberships and will make you feel like family. Snap Fitness is a sure way to meet your fitness goals and help you thrive in 2021 with cardio equipment, weight machines, free weights, and great personal trainers. Drop by today to set up a tour and start your wellness and health journey. Snap Fitness Huntsville is located next to Boot Barn. Visit snapfitness.com or find us on Facebook at Snap Fitness Huntsville. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here alongside... Ken Holland for Sam Houston men's basketball trailing Stephen F. Austin at halftime. Yes, at halftime, 28 to 19. As the Bearcats will start this second half with the ball, they will move from right to left. Second half brought to you by our good friend Dakery BB Abbey Realty. Dakery BB Abbey Realty, bring home the win with Dakery BB Abbey Realty. It's Huntsville's real estate expert. As we are underway in the second half, not all will take a three. This one off the front of the rim. So. Those threes not falling for Sam Houston. They hit them early with three quick ones, and since then they have went cold. Three of 17 from downtown. Stephen F. Austin, the only one of six. They are shooting 17% from that three-point line. The Jacks will move from left to right here in the second half. 
At the top, Roddy Ware over the right wing. Jefferson back up top to Solomon. He'll find Ware on the left wing with five on the shot clock. He'll try to penetrate inside from the left elbow. Swings it, and he traveled. Well, a turnover there by Roddy Ware. And that is the 14th turnover, the first one of the second half by the Jacks. Sam Houston will have it here, moving from right to left. Dante Powers on the near side. At top, rotating the left wing. He wants to penetrate inside. He'll find Javion May. Javion almost stepped out of bounds on the baseline. Back to Dante Powers. Swings it over Ikpe. Ikpe from the top. Jorkin inside. He'll put it up off the left side. And finally, a foul called here. And he'll go to the line shooting, too. Saw a lot of those in the first half. There was no call. This time, there is one. And Tristan Ikpe will go to the line here to shoot two free throws. That foul is called on Calvin Solomon. It is his second personal and the first one of this second half of play. So Tristan Ikpe at the line shooting two, a 55% free throw shooter, 40 of 73 on the season. Ikpe two points, he's one of four from the field in his first time at the Charlie's used cars free throw line. Left-handed, that one good. By the way, Ken, that is the first free throw made of the night by Sam Houston. They were 0 of two. The only one shooting free throws in the first half was Zach Nuttall. He was 0 for 2 from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. Here's Tristan Ikpe. He'll bend his knees, trying to go 2 for 2. This one, yes, connects. That's critical. Yep. Got to have take advantage of every opportunity, including the free throws. The Jacks have it back on the right side. Of course, this was a, a different Jacks team than the one last year that defeated number one Duke at the time on the road. Kakarice down low will find Kinsmill. He'll dart this one back over to the left wing into the hands of Ware. Ware loses the handle, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Sam Houston. It was a good effort down there on the court. We've seen JV on May all over the place. You know, he's got numbers tonight that won't show up on that stat line. No points. He's played in 13 minutes, but he has been very aggressive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, and he's gotten banged around. This SFA team plays very aggressively, and he's been a part of that. The Jacks will inbound. Kakarice will find Kinsmill. Back over to Kakarice on the right wing. Turn around. Kakarice feeds down low to Kinsmill. Turn around. Jumper at the buzzer. That shot isn't there as it hit the side of the backboard. Here come the Bearcats. It's Zach Nuttall from the right wing. He'll take a three. Launches it. This one's short off the front. Boy, the Bearcats have got to get a three. They have went cold here. It's Kakarice inside. He'll flip one up, weaving his way through traffic and lays that one up easily off the left side. The fans here at Johnson will sit down on the first basket from Stephen F. Austin. Bearcats trailing by 9, 30 to 21, 17-55. Dante Powers darts one to May off the right side. He's fouled. JV on May, free throws coming up. Once again, we talk about JV on May as he was able to find a little bit of a lane down there. Wasn't able to make the shot, but that's because he was fouled. And that foul is on Kinsmill. It is his second personal foul and the second team foul of this second half. Gavin Kinsmill with the foul. JV on May at the line here to shoot two. He is a 54% free throw shooter. 28 of 52 on the season. He'll bend his knees. Right-handed delivery on the way. Makes it. So that first Charlie's used cars free throw goes in. Substitution as Antwi Bajako back into the ball game. Heading over to the bench is Gavin Kinsmill. I love when you have to call his name. I finally took a moment, you know. I got it. You got it. It's down now. I would say Nana at first. Second free throw is missed, though. Antwi Bajako. Cackle Reese has it as he moves from left to right. He's on the court. How is that not a travel? He slid. <laughs> and a jump ball call to the possession arrow stays with Stephen F. Austin. Nine times out of ten, that's going to be a travel if you slide with the ball. Yep. Granted, he had a couple of dribbles, but he slid before he took them. Yeah, he did. I mean, he did a good job to keep the dribble going, yeah. but it, it, it was delayed after he slid. Stephen F. Austin inbounding Kakarice over to Solomon and now into the hands of Ware up top from the three. Back over to Kakarice's right wing, feeding it down low. J.B. on May with the steal. May has it up top over to Nuttall. Nuttall on the far side. He'll find Lampley, left wing three. Light the lamp, baby, from downtown. It's Demarcus Lampley. Lampley fell backwards, no foul was called as he's drawn five of those 
four-point plays this season. Now the other way, that's got to be some sort of a travel. <laughs> and a late whistle and a foul against Zach Nuttall. Zach Nuttall is not happy with the call, and that young man has every right to be. You have got to be kidding me. He was holding the ball. And instead, the foul is called, and Rati Ware at the line to shoot free throws. Zach Nuttall pleading his case that he traveled before the foul. As he should. He should. Roddy Ware, an 82% free throw shooter, nails the first one. Zach Nuttall is not very animated as far as conversations with officials. That is one of the few times that we will see him down there debating a call. The next one bounces off, rebound, and it goes to Sam Houston. <laughs> And Coach Hooten is having, <laughs> he looks at the official kind of sarcastically and goes, woo, and claps his hands. I think that was directed to the official's kid. I think so, too. <laughs> it was kind of a like, hey, you know what, that last one. <laughs> you have to be here to see it, folks. 31-25, Bearcats trailing by six, 17 minutes to go here in the game, and the Stackery BB Abbey Realty second. Dante Powers floats one inside oh. the paint and put back good there by Zach Nuttall. It was coming off the rim, Nuttall was there to clean it up. It's a four point Stephen F advantage. The Bearcats cutting back into it after trailing in this game by as many as nine. 16-41 to go, 31-27. The Jacks with it on the right side is Rati Ware. Up top to Daniels, guarded by Ickpe. It's a battle of the 12s. Daniels, Cackle Reese, losing his handle, steps out of bounds, turnover, back to the Bearcats, baby. And we've got a timeout on the court. Sam Houston trailed by as many as seven or actually nine in this game when it was 28 to 19. They have found some life here and pulling back to within four, they've got the ball when we come back after a 30 second timeout here on the Bearcats Sports Network. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the I Heart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from Huntsville, Texas, 3127 from Johnson Coliseum here in the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made here alongside my good friend Ken Holland. Beautiful fiance Bridget Brennan helping us tonight keep the score on our social media feed. Well, Ken, Bearcats on a little bit of a comeback here, only trailing by four now. I like what I'm seeing. Well, they brought a lot of energy to the second half, and they're going to need to maintain that all the way to the end, because this thing isn't going to be easy. It's going to be a hard road back, and to keep it if they get it there. What's on the line tonight? Well, what's on the line tonight? A victory for Sam Houston would secure that first overall seed in the Southland Tournament. It would grant them two buys, so they would only play in the semifinal and the final next week. A loss here. How far back would that put them? It depends on how the uh, the rest of the the – teams tonight do, but no worse than fourth. Yeah, Sam, so most likely third. Sam Houston currently sitting at 39 points in the point system. Mm -hmm. If they lost this one tonight, they would be the number two seed with an Abilene Christian loss and the number three seed if Abilene Christian won. And that's a big difference because you go from one bye to two byes. Right. So we'll come out of the timeout here. Again, thanks for joining us, friends. We are live here in Huntsville, Texas on 1017 K Sam and the Bearcats Sports Network. April Lampley saying we need this win. We've got to start driving the ball if the threes are there not falling. My beautiful mom and grandmother listening. Shirley Hip and Estelle Kimbrough back outside of Austin, Texas. And Chad Willie saying go Cats from Southern California. Thanks for joining us on our social media feeds. So Abilene Christian did take care of business at an incarnate word, so they do get that the 37 points. So that loss. If there was a loss tonight by Sam Houston, that would put us as the third seed. We would not get the two buys. We would only get one buy. 
That's the way I'm reading that, Ken. So, yep, uh, with uh, Abilene Christian loss, number three seed with an Abilene Christian win. That is if we get the loss tonight. Back in action. Here we go. JV on May trying to feed down low to nut all. It's a turnover right out of the timeout. Oh, and Hooten is not happy as he should be. You never want to turn the ball over coming out of a timeout. 31-27. Jack's back with it on the right side. It is Hawkins guarded by Powers. Trying to work his way off the foot of May. It's on the court. Powers has it. And we've got a jump ball possession arrow to Sam Houston. How about it for Dante Powers and that defense down on the court? That's what I like to see. That will take us to another media timeout. 31-27, 16 minutes to go. Bearcats trailing by four. We'll see if the Cats can put up a score coming out of this timeout in a minute when we return on the Bearcats Sports Network. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. Hablo. It's hablo? Yes. It's hablo. <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Since my husband is from Guatemala, I'll apply what I've learned in Babbel to our real life situations. The app is so easy to use and it's so practical. It helps you learn things that you will actually need. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. Back at it here from Huntsville, Texas. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland. Just a correction here. We were checking our notes, and a special thank you to uh, David Hopkins. It's actually a three by three buys if Sam Houston wins, two buys if we lose uh, because of the new 10 team format. I guess everybody's a winner, so you go from eight teams to 10 teams now. Right, and, and, and the point system that they have, too, it's three points for a win, one point for a game that could not be played. And so Nichols is sitting idle. They finished their last game on Thursday. They have 42 points. Sam Houston currently has 39. ACU with their win currently has 40. So we're, Sam Houston is one point off of uh, at least getting a second place, which if they don't win, they don't get any yeah. points. So, yeah, they need to win to – the tie Nichols and the tiebreaker with Nichols would give them the, the overall, yeah. The overall in the in the Well, you top still have seed. to share it though. And I you know, that's one of those things that I kind of Well, that's a whole different yeah, that's discussion whole. right there. <laughs> but you share it's a co championship. We're the first seed, they're the second yep. seed, so they're we're on either side of the bracket. Never understood the co yeah. if you outbeat a team in the regular season, I think you should have the outright, but that right. is what it is. And especially this year where Nichols did not play ACU or SFA. Good point. 31-27, 16 minutes to go here in Huntsville. Bearcats trailing. David Hopkins again, thanks for joining us. Dante Powers has it on the left wing. It's knocked off of his foot, and it's turned over. Another turnover out of a timeout here. Powers, though, trying to redeem himself as he strips it, but it goes right back into the hands of Ware on the left wing. And we've got a whistle here, and we'll see what happens. What are the officials discussing here? That ball didn't touch the... the yeah, they're looking at the clock. Because it should have been reset. The clock should have been reset. On the flip, on yeah. The flip. On the possession. They didn't. they didn't reset it on the no. possession. So they'll say two seconds went off. And so Stephen F. Austin will inbound it as Johnson here in front of his own bench. Four-point advantage for the Jacks. 15-40 to go here in Huntsville, Texas. Where on the left wing to the left corner. He will find Nigel Hawkins back up top to Daniels, guarded by Ikpe. Daniels picks up his dribble, hands off to Ware. Nine on the shot clock. Ware retreats a little bit towards backcourt. Now resets. Four on the clock. Ware's going to probably take a three. No, he's going to drive in from the right side. Nuttall able to get on him. And that ball goes back to the Bearcats. It is Nuttall over to Lampley. Left corner three from downtown. It's short. Oh, my goodness. Lampley had a good look, and it was a rare short three-pointer. 
attempt by Demarcus Lampley. That one would have been huge. 31-27, score remains. Stephen F. Austin has not scored in two minutes. They almost turned the ball over here, and a late whistle is going to bell him out. It's Demarcus Lampley's third personal foul. It is the second team foul here in the second half by Sam Houston. At the line shooting two is Daniels. Six foot nine senior forward, a 43% free throw shooter. Well, naturally, he's going to make these. Just how it is tonight. 32 27. Five point jack advantage. Daniels at the line. And substitution on the court is Demarcus Lampley will head over to the bench. He'll get a Clap and some motivation from head coach Hooten, assistant coach Mudge, and a standing ovation from his entire bench. Bryce Monroe checking back into the game. Here's Daniels, made the first one, second one on the way. Give him credit. Not a good free throw shooter, but he's going to make him here tonight. Gavin Kinsmill will check back into the game as Daniels, he'll get a stand from his bench. 33-27, Huntsville trailing. For the Sam Houston trailing here in Huntsville with 14.44 to go. Rocket Man floats one up. It takes a bounce, and it's good for the freshman. He turned on those jets down inside the paint as he's done all season. Able to drop it in. It's 33-29. Jacks by four. Roddy Ware at the top of the three-point line. Into the hands of Hawkins. Hawkins will go back up top to Daniels. Good defense here by Nuttall. Left wing penetrating inside. Johnson takes a jumper. The shot's not there. Rebound to May. Over to Nuttall. He wants to work inside. Nuttall is fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You have got to be kidding me tonight. Coach Hooten is livid. This has gotten out of hand. Wow. Wow. This kind of game, Rob, with these kind of calls, it's it's frustrating. I mean, you know, I know you're trying to stay calm on this, but I'll fill in for you. It's these kind of games where a championship is to be decided should not be called like this. It's an offensive foul on Zach Nuttall. And he has three. Three personal now, three team fouls here in the second half into the hands of Nigel Hawkins as he will feed down low to Kinsmill. Turning around on Ikpe off the right side and it rolls around and good. 35-29, Bearcats trying to find some life here. That was the first basket, by the way, in almost four minutes by Stephen F. Austin. A foul here on Bryce Monroe as he was driving in. Two free throws coming up for Rocketman. So Bryce Monroe here at the line. Remember, he had his biggest game, or one of his big games, versus the Stephen F. Austin team to end January as he scored 17. Makes the first free throw here from the Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. Kean Scroggins will check back into the ball game as Ikpe heads over to the bench. It is Scroggins and May down inside the keys. Zach Nuttall, Dante Power standing Near half court, second free throw from that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line is good by Bryce Monroe. Back to a four-point lead here for Stephen F. Austin, 35-31, 13-20 to go here in the second. Down low to Johnson, inside the paint, he turns it over. It's Dante Powers, one on two. Powers will find Rocket Man for three. This one not there. It was off the right side. Up front, the ball goes to Hawkins. He'll put up a shot. Contested. It won't fall. Rebound into the hand of Kinsmill. It's bounced out of bounds. Bearcat basketball. That's the way to do it. The Bearcats on the defensive side. 35-31 it is. Thick. You can fill the atmosphere here tonight, Ken. I mean, it's 35-31 with 13 <laughs> left in the half. But man, this is this is intense, Rob. Bearcats only shooting 30%, 11 of 37 from the field. They need one here. It's Bryce Monroe at the top. 
crossing over. He'll take a jumper from the elbow. Not there. Javion May behind the back, not able to hold on to it. Oh, I thought that went out of bounds off of Cameron Johnson. I think the crowd saw that as well. And they'll say it's out of bounds off Sam Houston. I think the entire crowd saw what I saw. As it looked like it went off Johnson's back. And Jaron Cook will check back into the ball game. This is like a heavyweight fight, Rob. Back and forth. The cards are pretty much even. Back we are, 35-31, 12-36 to go here in the second. The Jacks leading here. They've got the ball on the right side. Cackle Reese over the left wing, Daniels. This one dropped in and good for Gavin Kinsmill. Six point trailing here for Sam Houston, 37-31, 12-16 to go. Bryce Monroe on the left wing. For the time being, he was double teamed. Here's Jaron Cook who needs a shot. And this one is knocked out of bounds here by Gavin Kinsmill. Eighteen seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time here for Sam Houston. They have not made a field goal in two and a half minutes. Let's break that streak right now. Inbound Monroe up top to Kean Scroggins. Hand off back to Monroe at the top. Monroe working in, floats it up. This shot good. How about that for a rattle right there by Rocket Man, and he's coming alive here in the second. Bryce Monroe with six points, two of six shooting. A huge field goal there just moments ago. And a foul before the shot here called against Sam Houston on the defensive side. That foul is called on Sam Houston. It was on Dante Powers. So Dante Powers called uh, with the foul. That is his second personal and the fourth team foul. He's not in the act of shooting, I believe. So an inbound pass coming here from the Lumberjacks. Leading 37-33, 11-49 to go here in the second. We'll be back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. They don't build cars like they used to, and they don't repair them like they used to either. Today's vehicles contain advanced lightweight materials and safety features like crumple zones and sensors that help protect your family. Repairing them properly after a collision requires up-to-date training. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 has it. They're among only 15% of shops to meet the industry's highest training standards as a gold-class business. When you pick a collision repair shop, make the smart choice for your family's safety. Choose gold-class trained repair professionals. Choose Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45. It's time to gear up for the rodeo and time to save on denim at Cavenders. Right now, men's and ladies' area jeans are 10 bucks off. Wrangler cowboy cut jeans and rock and roll denim jeans are buy two, get one free. Plus, cinch jeans are buy one, get one 50% off. You can always trust Cavenders for authentic Western style. So hurry in now and save at Cavenders, your rodeo headquarters. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip, live from Huntsville, Texas, on the campus of Sam Houston State University at Johnson Coliseum. We are live here from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. Joined by Ken Holland, 37-33. Stephen F. Austin with the lead. They've got the ball here in a moment coming out of this timeout. Bearcats just have to find a way to start making shots. They're only 12 of 39. 12 baskets made, and we are 11.49 to go in the second half. I do not want to be in the locker room with Coach Uten win or lose on this one. I mean, it's just – this is just such a strange game. Stat-wise, how it's being called, everything. But it's SFA versus Sam Houston. Bearcats were only 8 of 30 in the first half. They are 4 of 9 here in this second half. They shot 3 of 16 from downtown, that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line in the first half. They are 1 of 5 here. Uh, in the second half, only four three-pointers made here tonight. Stephen at Boston, they're only one of six. So, you know, for both teams, really, yeah. you could look at it as Sam Houston struggling, but so are so is the Lumberjacks. Here we go, back in action here as Cackle Reese will inbound this on the left baseline of his own rim. 
Up high he goes into the hands of Daniels, and now Kakarese gets the put back. That shot isn't there. Ball out of bounds off of Kean Scroggins, and it will remain with the Jacks. And really for Stephen F. Austin, you know, you could say that they're just playing for pride because they're not going to play in the tournament this year. Nope. They forfeited that right so they can play next year uh, in the whack whenever that starts. Here's a jumper, and it's good, of course, <laughs> there for Ware. You know, just playing for the rivalry here. They were supposed to be exempt next year, but they asked to be exempt this year, and that was granted. Here's Bryce Monroe, left wing, Jaron Cook. This three-pointer isn't there. Scroggins trying to get the rebound. Of course, no call as everybody was thrown to the floor. Here's Cackle Reese back the other way. Why not drop it in and a travel? There you go. Finally, Johnson with the travel. Away. Dante Powers will head over to the bench. Demarcus Lampley checking back in for Sam Houston. The Bearcats trailing by six. 39-33, 11-15 to go here in the Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second. Trying to bring home the win tonight with Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty. Monroe working through Cacklery's, turning on the Jets inside the paint. He'll kick it over. Cook from left wing for three. Not there. Rebound, though, back up top over to Monroe. He'll take a straightaway three. Yes, yes, that one's in for Bryce Monroe. It's Rocket Man from downtown. 39-36 on that Mokin Mocha attorney at law three-pointer. Back the other way off the left side and one for Gavin Kinsmill. Cannot catch a break tonight. You make a huge three and then an and one back the other way. That foul is called on Zach Nuttall, and what's most important about that candidate is his fourth mm -hmm. personal foul. Now the fifth team foul by the Bearcats here in the second half. That one in the act of shooting, and Gavin Kinsmill at the line. Kinsmill one of two from the charity stripe on the right side. He'll bend his knees, right-handed shot on the way, and this one good. He'll make the end one. 10.48 remaining, 42-36. Bearcats trailing by six. And so Javion May comes in for Zach Nuttall. He'll probably sit for a little while. Nuttall in this game in double digits with 10 points. He is the only Bearcat in double digits. Bryce Monroe to the top with a left-handed dribble. He'll float one up. Boy, he was fouled. <laughs> there he goes. About to say, he's not going to float one up and it just goes up like a dud and falls back down. He's got to be hit, and he is. And Zach Nuttall will be rewarded with two coming up. So pause up here from the Charlie's used cars free throw line. It is Bryce Monroe, rocket man on the left side. Monroe, the first one on the way, and he nails it. Three for three from that charity stripe tonight as he'll get a high five from Demarcus Lampley. JV on May, Tristan Ikpe down in the left and right key. Here's the next free throw. This one rattles home. Make them is what you got to do. The Bearcats are making them here so far tonight. I think we're going to see Bryce Monroe step up here in the latter part of this half. 42-38, Jacks with the lead, 10-26 to go. Behind the back dribble, Johnson almost lost his handle, able to hold on to it. And there now he throws it away. Johnson was looking down on the baseline to Kinsmill, and he threw it away. Kinsmill wasn't ready for it. It's a turnover back to the Bearcats. How about 20 turnovers tonight by Stephen F. Austin? The Bearcats have only scored 12 points off of those turnovers. Let's make that to 14 right here. Bryce Monroe crossing the half-court line to the left wing. Crossover dribble. He finds Javion May near the corner. Down low to Ikpe. Ikpe from the semicircle. Turn around. Floater too strong. The rebound, though, back to Ikpe. He'll kick it up top. Lampley from downtown. Yes! Oh, mama! Demarcus Lampley straight away three. Turn on the lights, baby. It's Demarcus Lampley from downtown. 42-41 with 9.46 to go on that Mokin Mocha tourney at law. Three-pointer from Lampley just moments ago. And a jumper, though, buried here by Ware. The Bearcats within striking distance. 9.32 remaining, trailing 44-41. It's Bryce Monroe working it. He'll take a jumper from the left elbow, drops it at the bottom of the net. It's a one-point game. The Bearcats finding life here halfway through the second. Roddy Ware to the right side of the left wing as he's trying to drive in. He'll retreat. He'll find down low. 
Who is this down here? Almost losing the ball. That is Calvin Solomon. He'll turn around on Javion May. Throws yeah. an elbow at him, and that's an offensive foul. Offensive foul on that play. We'll turn it back to the Bearcats. And Sam Houston has an opportunity to regain the lead. Trailing by one, 44 to 43, with 9.02 remaining here in the second half. Well, a moment ago when Bryce Monroe made that three-pointer, he had Zach Nuttall open on the wing. He did a step back, made that three. I think he has it in his sights. He's, he wants to carry the team, true well, freshman. You mentioned him. Here's Bryce Monroe inside the paint, floats it. Oh, man, oh. it popped in and out, and the ball goes out of bounds. And a foul on Tristan Yeah, it's a foul on Tristan Ickpay. That's a seventh-team foul, so a one-and-one one coming up here for Stephen F. Austin. Told you over here you can stand up and pump your fist a little bit. That's why I like being over here. Hopefully after the, you know, after we get over all the COVID, we can just kind of remain on this side. I don't mind uh, it. I like it. It it's was nice. not a one and one. It was only the six-team foul. So Stephen F. Austin will inbound this basketball on the right side. They've got it leading by one, 44-43, 8.30 to go here in the second half. The ball into the hands of Antwi Bazico. He almost lost it. He'll find Hawkins on the right wing, having to retreat seven seconds. Where? Steps from the free throw line, the jumper, and this one isn't there, but the offensive rebound to Johnson. He'll put up a floater. He's fouled by oh. Tristan Ikpe. Ikpe was just standing there with his hands up in the air, and he's wondering, how did I get a foul called on me? And that's his fourth. It is his fourth. And that is the seventh team foul by the Bearcats. So the final 8-16, Stephen F. will shoot as they are now in the bonus, but they also have 16 fouls. So the next foul by the Jacks will put the Bearcats in the bonus. Johnson at the line, shooting free throws. The first one is on its way. It is no good, no good for Johnson. Kean Scroggins will check back into the ball game for Tristan Ickpey. Crowd getting into it. I love this energetic crowd. I wish we could have this every game. Here's the next free throw. Johnson on the way. Missed the first one. Made the second one. So he split the pair. David, we don't. This is an in the booth feed. I, I have some. I get this question all the time. We can't show the court. Uh, there's. You can watch it on TV. This is a special in the booth audio broadcast. We don't have the TV rights to broadcast these games. 45-43, Bearcats trailing by two as Bryce Monroe trapped at the right elbow. He'll flip it up. Oh my goodness, is it almost rolled in? Kean oh, Scroggins Kean. with the rebound, and he's fouled, and Kean Scroggins will go to the line shooting two. Lampley having a little chat with Kean, As you said earlier, Kean Scroggins taking the advice. And that will take us to a timeout. Oh, baby. An exciting one here tonight in Huntsville, Texas at Johnson Coliseum. We're going to take 30 seconds. It is a media timeout, but we'll take 30 seconds. We'll come back and talk a little bit about this one. 45-43, an opportunity for the Cats to tie this on free throws. When we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Eric Barbosa, General Manager at Henson Chevy Buick GMC, and we're letting the good deals roll during our parade of savings. We're rolling out 10 models with payments under $300 a month. We'll even throw in a big screen TV. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductible and unlimited miles at no cost to you, and we even deliver for free. Get rolling with big savings today at Henson Chevy, your dealer for life. Henson Chevy, HensonChevy.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pip alongside Ken Holland live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, a wonderfully made. Sam Houston, Stephen F. Austin, a battle of the ages here. Everything that it's meant to be, it is a battle of the Piney Woods Hardwood Edition. The Bearcats trailing by two with 7.57 remaining here in this Daiquiri Beatty Abbey Realty second half. As the 12th ranked Sam Houston Bearcats in that collegeinsider.com mid-major top 25 poll trying to claw their way back into this one. Ken, the Bearcats have trailed by as 
many as nine. They have led by as many as seven. Their last lead was when it was 13 to 12, back with 11.51 to go in the first. An opportunity here to tie this ball game. Kean Scroggins will have free throws here in just a moment as we come out of this timeout. Well, Rob, it's just a, it's a battle every possession. And I think it's going to be this way all the way to the end. It was, it, you know, it's just one of those games where it's SFA, Sam Houston. As you mentioned earlier, SFA didn't have anything on the line next week in the tournament. They're sitting out, decided to take their, uh, their suspension a year early. But believe me, they want to win this ball game. Kean Scroggins getting valuable playing time because of his efforts versus Texas A&M Corpus on this same court on Wednesday night in an 84-61 victory. In that game, Scroggins in 16 minutes had eight points. He did not shoot free throws. He is only three of seven this season from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. Critical free throws on the back of the freshman coming up here. And I believe in him. He can do it. He's got two points tonight in 10 minutes, but he has had a hard-fought battle on the defensive side, and you can see him taking a breath. These are the biggest free throws of this young man's collegiate career. So he'll step up to the line here on the left side, takes a deep breath, that left foot a little close, left-handed free throw shot, no good. That's all right. It's okay. Had a good look on that one. It just wouldn't fall in. He'll take another deep breath, takes a bend of his knees. The next one on the way. This one is good. Split the pair, Kean Scroggins. Remains a one-point Lumberjack advantage with 7.54 to go here in the second half. Ware has it on the right side. To the left wing, guarded by Dante Powers. High screen comes from Antwi Bajako. Over to Cackleries on the right wing. Back up top into the hands of Ware. Ware to the left wing, Hawkins. Up top, Antwi Bajako. To where? And boy, we've got a foul here against Sam Houston. It's on Kean Scroggins. That is his second personal and the eighth team foul. So Daniels will shoot a one and one. Daniels, Charlie Daniels, a six foot nine senior forward, a 43% free throw shooter. On the front end, misses, and the rebound, Scroggins trying to haul up for it, and he's fouled as he goes up for the rebound. So we'll have free throws coming back the other way for the Bearcats. And here's an opportunity for Sam Houston to tie it with one or take the lead on both of them. Keep in mind, it is a one and one. Kean Scroggins back at the line where he just split a pair moments ago. Well, every time for Kean now at the line is going to be the most critical free throws of this young man's collegiate career. Yeah. On the left side, he will bend his knees. The left-handed free throw shot is good. Go. Rattles home for Kean Scroggins, and we are tied at 45 apiece at the 733 mark here at Johnson Coliseum. Rob, it's been fun to watch Kean Scroggins this year as a true freshman. Here's the next free throw for the there lead, and the Bearcats have the lead for the first time since the 11:51 mark back in the first. The Bearcats with rhythm, the crowd getting on their feet. Tim rushing, leading that charge. As the Jacks have it on the right side, it is Ware, left wing, all alone for three. That shot isn't there. Scroggins fighting for it, tips it to Javion May. This young man is doing damage here for the Bearcats in this second half of play. It's into the hands of Bryce Monroe, into the front court. Monroe finds a lane, slips it up, and he's blocked. Oh, Monroe had a nice move inside, and Antwi Bajako blocked him. Back over to Ware on the right wing. From the left corner, now to the right corner. Inside the paint, trapped by three Bearcats. That leaves one open. It is Kinsmill. He'll float one and one off the left side. Bearcats were wanting the offensive foul. Javion May was outside of the semicircle and instead charged for a defensive blocking foul. I'd like to see that on a replay. Got to get these right down here. Two fouls now on Javion May. Nine team fouls on the Bearcats. Two free throws coming up as this was in the act of shooting. And I guess you're allowed to go all the way to the opposite end of the court. Kinsmill was way at the other side. And the officials 
Checking a couple of things. We'll get back here. I've never seen that before. Kinsmill, Ken, goes all the way back to the left side. I mean, I think you get a delay of game sometimes, did he, don't did he you? think that it was a foul against <laughs> yeah. SFA? Here's the first free throw. They call it a one and one. No, an and one, I beg your pardon, and he makes it. 48-46. Bearcats trailing by two. They took the lead momentarily. Bryce Monroe on the right wing. Don't need a three here. Over to Jaron Cook. Jaron trying to shake a defender, and he turns oh. it over. And a wide open lane here for Johnson. He'll slam it home. Fifty forty six. Bearcats trailing by four. Six twelve to go. They don't need a big play here. Just got to make a basket. It's Bryce Monroe to the left wing. Double team. Trying to shake through a defender. Finds Lampley. Good defense here, though, by the Jacks. Got to give him credit. And now a high screen foul called against Kean Scroggins. Tristan Ikpe will check back into the ball game as Jaron Cook and Kean Scroggins head over to the bench. Zach Nuttall at the scorer's table. Dante Powers back into the game. So it is Monroe, May, Ikpe, Lampley, and Powers on the court for Sam Houston. Trailing by four with 5.52 to go here in the second half. 50 to 46 as the Lumberjacks have it on the right side. Cackleries on the left wing, up top over to Johnson. Johnson working inside, floats one up. And a whistle here and a foul on the court. And free throws coming up for the Jacks. That's on Demarcus Lampley. Demarcus Lampley with his fourth personal foul. And that will make three Bearcats now in foul trouble. Lampley, Ikpe, and Nuttall all with four fouls. Monroe with 13 points in this game. Four of 11 from the field. This is what Coach Hooten talks about is how can you close out games? And we've had games this season where that's been the difference. The Bearcats have been able to close out games this season in close contests. Johnson with the free throw, and he nails it. DeMarcus Lampley will head back over. No, he's going to stay on the bench. It is Zach Nuttall in for Javion May. Coach Hooten will give a high five to the right hand of Javion May alongside assistant coach Mudge behind him. The entire bench will stand up and give May a high five. May just went to the bench with 10 rebounds on the game. Great effort by that young man. Second free throw rattles in. And as the Bearcats took a one-point advantage, it has quickly been stretched on a 6-0 run now to a 52-46 advantage for the Jacks with 540 remaining. Sam Houston has outscored Stephen F. Austin in the second half, 27-24. They were outscored 28-19 in the first half. Middle of a timeout here. We'll take 30 seconds. Bearcats have the ball when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Network. Whether it's a new firearm, cleaning kit, Kydex holster, knife, or knife sharpening, they have it all at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They also offer $15 FFL transfers, layaway, and gift certificates for that hard-to-shop loved one. Go by and see them today. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, they're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call 936-439-6727. Bullets, blades, and concealment. Back at it here, friends, from Huntsville, Texas. 52 to 46, 540 to go here in the second half. I'm Rob Hip from the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast booth with Ken Holland. Bearcats trailing Stephen F. Austin. The Cats have it coming out of the timeout. Monroe over to Ikpe near the right wing, moving from right to left. Ikpe has it. Monroe's been hot. Nuttall will go inside. He'll find come Lampley. On, Corner on. three, Lampley. Off the back of the rim, rebound to wear. Ken was about to jump over the railing here to my right. 52-46. Jacks with the lead, trying to extend it. They're on a 7-0 run, by the way, making five of their last seven shots. The Bearcats have not scored in two and a half minutes. 0 for 4. Inside, Ikpe, great, or, yeah, Ikpe with great defense. Ken's mill, it goes out of bounds, and the ball back to the Bearcats. Yeah, you mentioned JV on May earlier. Ten boards in this ballgame, only one point, but I talked about his defensive efforts. He's on the bench right now. 52-46, Bearcats trailing, 4.50 to go. Monroe picks it up, takes a jumper from the elbow. Not uh, there, it's short. Gosh. 
the San Francisco High School City Player of the Year. Missing a shot there, but he's given some life earlier in this half. Back the other way, easy does it. Boy, just walk on in there, Cameron Johnson. Wide open lane for Johnson. 54-46. Bearcats have got to score here. They're in a drought for over three minutes, making zero of their last five shots. And Bryce Monroe trying to drive in. Ware charged for the reach-in foul. Well, we'll take them how we can get them, and if you can get them on a stop clock and make your free throws, that's a good way to pick up some points here. Monroe at the line to shoot two. I would have hoped to. He was in the way to shoot this ball. I didn't see the official call down there. That foul was on Rati Ware. It is his second personal, the ninth team foul by the Jacks. So here's Bryce Monroe from the Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. And it was a one and one, and he missed it. Oh, thought he was in the act of shooting. I know he got bumped, but he was making his way to the basket. Cacklerys with the ball crossing the Sam Houston logo. A chance to extend this to a 10-point lead late. To the right wing, Cacklerys. As he'll find Kinsmill. Back over left wing, Johnson. Cacklerys from the top, driving in inside the paint. Flips it over left corner to Ware. Two on the shot clock. He doesn't realize it. One down. He didn't get it off in time. Well, they say he did. It was missed anyways. Rebound, Ikpe. Here come the Cats. It's Zach Nuttall trying to weave through traffic. He'll retreat back to the top of the three. Monroe tracking behind him. Monroe will receive it. Thought about a three from way deep, and he didn't pull up on that one. Monroe stepping back. He'll take a three from the left wing. This one no good. Bearcats have went cold here at a critical time. 3.29 remaining here in the second half. Bearcats trailing 54-46. We've got a timeout on the court. We'll keep it at a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in a moment here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Improve your health and well-being this year at Snap Fitness. Snap Fitness offers 24-7 memberships and will make you feel like family. Snap Fitness is a sure way to meet your fitness goals and help you thrive in 2021 with cardio equipment, weight machines, free weights, and great personal trainers. Drop by today to set up a tour and start your wellness and health journey. Snap Fitness Huntsville is located next to Boot Barn. Visit snapfitness.com or find us on Facebook at Snap Fitness Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland. 54-46, your score. 3.29 to go here in the Dakery BB Abbey Realty second half. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcats Sports Network. A little bit of life for the Bearcats as at one point they led a 46-45, but since then it has been a 9-0 run over the last 3 minutes, 18 seconds for Stephen F. Austin. The Bearcats could not hold that lead long. They were fighting back in this one. They were down by 9 when it was 28-19. Two minutes into the second half, dug their way, clawed their way back into it, Ken. And right now only outscoring Stephen F. Austin by one in the second half. They trailed 28 to 19 after the first. one times tonight. Bearcats have only been able to capitalize with 15 points off of those turnovers. The Jacks will inbound the basketball here, leading 54-46. Bearcats need a stop, still time, 322 remaining. 
The Cats have two timeouts remaining as well. Kinsmill at the top. Bryce Monroe guarding him to the right wing. Ball into the hands of Rati Ware to the left wing. Ware guarded by Powers. He'll find Antwi Bajako for three. That shot isn't there. No over the back call there on Kinsmill as he gets the rebound and the putback. I guess you can just reach over a guy's right shoulder and haul it in, and that's what he did. Ten-point advantage for Stephen F. Austin. Bearcats trailing, 2.50 to go. Dante Powers at the top with a left-handed dribble. Ware guarding him. Not all trying to work inside. He's bumped. That's blocked. Turnover. Back to the Roddy Ware. Ware to the white right wing. Over to Antwi Bajako. Left wing, Kinsmill. Back up top, Ware. Ware will find Kinsmill. Working inside. Left side. That shot isn't there. A rebound pulled down by Nuttall. Bearcats have got to score here. They are in a drought. Lampley over to Nuttall. Loses the handle, picks it up from the top. Bounce pass down to Ikpe. Here's Powers, corner three. It's not there. And the rebound to Kinsmill. Two minutes to go here in Huntsville. As the Lumberjacks running away with this one on an 11-0 run over the last 440, the Bearcats have not scored in five and a half minutes. And how about two more for Stephen F. Austin? And their coaching staff is besides themselves right now, jumping on the court during game play. 58-46, <laughs> 154 remaining. We've got a timeout. We'll take it here for 30 seconds. We may stretch it to a minute. We'll see what it turns into. We'll be back here in a moment on the Bearcat Sports Network. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Ken Holland, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Sam Houston. Running out of time, 58-46. Stephen F. Austin has taken advantage down the stretch. After the Bearcats led by one, they have not scored in five minutes and 39 seconds. A 13-0 run over the last 4.53 for the Jacks. And the inbound there by Nuttall to Dante Powers, and he was leveled to the floor. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting, too. Foul was called there on Gavin Kinsmill. I was just going back here looking the last time the Bearcats were under 50 in a game this season. I believe it was only one game, and that was, well, I don't know if there was any games, actually. I'm looking here, and I don't see any. They have put up over 50 points, the lowest effort of the season. I believe it was, no, they, I don't know what it is. I'm looking here. They, they had 52 at Texas Tech. Yeah, 52 the very at beginning Tech. of the season. There you go. That's the one I was yeah. looking at. That's the lowest output of the season. First free throw was made for Powers. It's maybe the spark they need. The second, Charlie's used car's free throw is made. So he makes both of the critical free throws. Still a 10-point lead here. Stephen F. Austin, though, not out of the woods just yet. And the Bearcats, if they can get a stop here, that's what's critical. Ware has it. They're not going to foul here, of course. They're going to try to get a stop. Solomon forward has it. Monroe almost knocking it away from Cacoris. Cacoris floats one up. This one blocked by Ikpe, and the Bearcats got to stop. They've got a score here. It is Bryce Monroe inside the paint. Flip it up, and good for Bryce Monroe. It's an eight-point Lumberjack lead, 58-50. to 50. The Bearcats are going to go for one more stop here, I believe, before we'll see some intentional fouls. Over to Cacoris into the front court. Two on two. As the Bearcats get back on the defensive side, Cacoris has it on the H of the Sam Houston logo. Not all trying to reach around the back. 17 seconds on the clock here. Cacoris double teamed on the right wing. Passes up top over to Kinsmill. Now into the hands of Kinsmill. Has it back. Back over to Cacoris with eight seconds on the clock. He's double teamed. Kinsmill is open. Right corner three. This one on the way. This one's no good, and the Bearcats get the stop. They've got to hurry, though. It is Lampley. He'll hand it off to Monroe. Monroe wiggling his way inside. Floats one up and one to Marcus Lampley. And the Bearcats finding some life here in the final minute of play. 
as Bryce Monroe, Rocket Man, drops it in, turned on those Jets down in the paint. And an and one opportunity coming up for the freshman. It's a six point lumberjack advantage, a chance to pull it to within five. As Bryce Monroe at the Charlie's used cars free throw line. I would assume after here you'll see the intentional foul. The free throw is good. And it's a six point Bearcat deficit. Actually five points. Got to hurry and get it in. They do, it's turned over. Nope, it goes out of bounds. It was a great job there by Powers. He was trying to knock it away, and that ball goes out of bounds. 38 seconds remain on the game clock, 28 on the shot clock. Bearcats trailing by five, 58 to 53, as the Cats now on a little 7-0 run over the last minute 15. And the backcourt to Kinsmill, Powers back there on him. I figured we would see an intentional foul as Bowers is trying to foul him. And they're just running the ball here. Finally, the foul comes. Too much time off the clock there. Well, what ended up happening, we have four, three players that oh, have four yeah. fouls, and Dante Powers didn't. He was trying to get it, and they knew that. And finally, Lampley had to come up and yeah, foul, and he fouls out. Dante Powers was reaching around, though, poking at him. I'm surprised I didn't credit him with the foul way back there. Yeah, I agree. So Lampley will foul out of the game. Good effort tonight by Lampley. 11 points. He'll finish 4 of 9 from the field, 3 of 7 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law. Three-point line, 34 minutes of play for that young man. Here's the Kakari's free throw, and he nails the first one. 27 seconds remain in the game. It's a six-point Lumberjack advantage. Cats with one timeout remaining. Cackleries at the line. Next one on the way, nails this one as well. Zach Nuttle on the baseline. So he'll throw it over to Jaron Cook up front to Bryce Monroe. Monroe inside. Oh my goodness, come That's on. A flagrant. Oh my Golly. goodness. As Kinsmill wow. ripped down Bryce Monroe literally by the nose as his head went backwards. That has to be a flagrant foul. I'm telling you, friends, Bryce Monroe's head went backwards on that play. Kinsmill got him by the nose. Wow. And this crowd is going to be livid if there is not some sort of an extra technical thrown on that. And, of course, Coach Keller over there saying, oh, that's not flagrant. Well, obviously, his head goes backwards. They're going to review this one, hopefully. Yeah. They're, they're, tell they're telling it. Coach Keller to get back. And the officials are going to review this one. And luckily, Bryce Monroe got up because he went down hard. Yeah, that was a clothesline. And whether, you know, what they're going to look at is the intent, obviously. But intent or not, that, that kind of play... That's a dangerous play. A dangerous he could have been and injured. In it's, it's safety, right? And that's the reason why they end up giving these types of fouls on that. And you saw after the play, Monroe a little slow to get up. He had to shake that one off. And he hit hard, Ken. He did not come down on his feet. He came down on his back. And you talk about his head going backwards. Right, right. And we'll wait to see what the call is here. Well, a defining moment right here in this ball game. This could change the landscape of things. 60 to 55. Bearcats trailing by five, and it is, well, we'll see. Hooten doesn't look too upset. The official's talking this one over, and we're going to get the uh, official ruling here in just a few moments. Keller has his arms crossed as he is talking things over uh, with one of the officials. We'll see his reaction. <laughs> That's going to tell the story. Well, look at Hooten right now. He's looking at... The explanation, he doesn't. Yeah, Keller looks satisfied. It's a. It is a flagrant one. That right. was the call of flagrant one. And so Bryce Monroe, this is critical, Ken, yeah. because Bryce Monroe is going to get two free throws. And, and then possession. He'll get, and possession. And doesn't he, does he get two more after yeah, this? Yeah, well, he should get the two for the foul. It's a foul. It's a flagrant. Yeah, so he'll get, get. So here's the first one. Charlie's used car's free throw is good. He has a chance. Could he tie it here? I don't know. No, because they, they were down by five. He could get to within one. 
Make sure I call this right. Second free throw is good. And now will he go to the line shooting two more? It will just be a possession inbound. It will be a possession inbound. I don't get that because he was in the he was on the way to shoot also right, though, Ken. Right, right. So I'm not understanding. He was in the act of shooting. Bearcats will get it here, trailing by three, 60 to 57. Three pointer. This one is no good by Jaron Cook. He was open and could not find it on the right wing. And the Cats immediately foul with 18 seconds to go. That would have tied this one up. Yeah, and again, I that's my ignorance. And I'll just be 100% honest. He was on his way to the basket. I don't understand. And maybe somebody can clarify that for me. Well, that's a, you know, and that's, that's the only bad thing about sitting over here is we right. can't talk to the official scores like we normally can. Well, to your point, he was up in the air in the act of making shooting. a shot when he, you yeah, know. So that's what so I don't understand. So was the ball not, even though he's up in the air going toward the basket, that's not, did his arm need to be up? Solomon the here at the line. Jack's leading, makes the first free throw, two possession game. 61-57, 18 seconds remaining. Solomon with a critical free throw. He'll have one more. It's on his way. This one is good. Stretches it back to a five-point game with 18 seconds to go. Inbounding. Monroe has it. Driving inside. Monroe drops this one. It's no good. He's fouled, and he's grabbing his right thigh. He went down hard again. That foul is on Nigel Hawkins as his second personal. Free throws coming up. Monroe is a warrior out here tonight. Yep. You mentioned him earlier, and he's going to take a little stretch here. He may just be cramping up as he kind of grabbed his right thigh on that fall. It wasn't a flagrant by any means. That was just a common foul. 62-57, 12 seconds remaining here in this second half. Bearcats trailing. The Cats still have one timeout. The Jacks have one of theirs as well. And Monroe, the freshman, battling here. Two free throws from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. The first one rattles in. Of course, the Cats will have to foul immediately. As Gavin Kinsmill checks back into the game. Javion May at the scores table. Kean Scroggins back out there as well. Here's the next free throw. This one good as well. Boy, Monroe really putting on a show here tonight. 23, now 24 points. 9 of 10 from that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. It is a three-point deficit. As the Jacks leading, quick inbound Kinsmill. Monroe fouls him. Took about three seconds off the clock. He was grabbing all over Kinsmill. They finally whistle it. And that will send Kinsmill to the line. Well, let's look at him. I beg your pardon, Cackleries to the line. Cackleries, a 71% free throw shooter. He's perfect tonight, 4 of 4. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's talked the talk, and Cackleries has walked the walk, though, tonight. you got to give the young man credit. Here's the free throw, and it's good. Next free throw on its way. This one good as well. So now you're just trading baskets, basically. Not all will inbound this one. Monroe into the front court, seven seconds, trying to split through defenders. Over to Nuttall, and this one knocked out of bounds. It will remain with Sam Houston, four seconds to go. I was going to say, if it was just a four-point deficit, well, Lampley's fouled out, though, but he's hit five three-pointers with and, an and-one and opportunity one, yeah. this season. Thought he would have a couple here. He went down on two of them. There was no calls. Inbound, Monroe, Nuttall, turn around three, wave it off. As he stepped out of bounds, that should do it with 2.8 remaining. Tough one here tonight. The Bearcats just could not shoot. That's going to be the storyline. 18 of 57 from the field. And that will do it. Sam Houston will finish third in the South and in the regular season. Still an admirable effort. Nichols, who didn't have to play the top two teams, 
will be the lone champions of the Southland with the Southland tournament coming up. And both of these teams on the court, despite a hard effort, will give each other a handshake, a hug. Zach Nuttall is out there, and I enjoy seeing that. And look at Bryce Monroe out there getting hugs from the Stephen F. Austin fans. That's what it's all about. You know, at the end of the day, we can broadcast, we can get into the game as fans, but this at the end is what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. Well, a tough one here tonight, 64 to 59. The shooting was not on point tonight for the Bearcats as they fought hard but could not overcome a tough battle from Stephen F. Austin. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll break this one down post-game coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. March Madness is here and so is the March Madness sales event right here at Wiesner in Huntsville. Come take advantage of these great deals and get $3,450 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Encore GX and a 2021 all-new redesigned Buick Envision or $4,700 in purchase allowance on the 2021 Buick Encore. You get up to $5,950 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Enclave. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville or online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. The spring roundup sale is on in Cavenders, and it's time to save on boots. Get 10 to 15% off select men's and ladies' western boots by Justin, Ariad, Corral, Lucchese, and more. Plus, get 10% off rugged work boots by Durango, Justin, Double H, and Rocky. You can always trust Cavenders for authentic western style at great prices. So hurry in now and save on boots during the spring roundup sale at Cavenders. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. Hablo. It's hablo? Yes. It's hablo. <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Since my husband is from Guatemala, I'll apply what I've learned in Babbel to our real life situations. The app is so easy to use and it's so practical. It helps you learn things that you will actually need. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at babbel.com. That's babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the I Heart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Welcome back, friends. Post game here from the like Copeland Family to, Dentistry and Broadcast like booth. And uh, we've got another commercial. There we go. <laughs> I think just a little slip up there back at the studio. No problem. Uh, Rob Hip here alongside Ken Holland. Uh, Ken, tough one tonight for Sam Houston uh, as... Stephen F. Austin, Victoria, 64 to 59. You know, I know that you and I, we're fans, let's be honest. I mean, we want to call the game in favor of our Bearcats. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we can look back as a fan and say, well, maybe there were some calls that should have went our way. But as you and I were discussing, it, it was the shooting tonight that really did Sam Houston in. And, and Coach is going to tell him that. I mean, that's on them. 18 of 57 is not going to get it done. 32%, only 6 of 29 uh, from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line. They shot fair from the foul line at that Charlie's used car foul line, 17 to 22. Uh, but, you know, when Stephen F. Austin turns it over 22 times and you still lose, that's just you've got to find a way to overcome that. And my only concern is heading into the south and how is the team going to respond? I think they're going to respond great because you don't have to face a Stephen F. Austin team. Of course, Nichols crowned uh, the Southland champions. Uh, it was a little premature, but now they can rightfully say it's there. Um, of course, didn't have to play Abilene Christian or, or uh, Stephen F. Austin this season. But give Stephen F. Austin credit. This is a team that battles. Coach Keller has done a good job in his five years with this team. It just simply wasn't the night for Sam Houston. They, they didn't match up very well. The shooting wasn't there, and it, 
it wasn't that those shots were heavily contested. They were just missing shots. Yeah, I think the I, I think the 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 way play was happening, just the speed of the game and the the it wasn't the Bearcats level of play that they like to do. So I think that got them out of out of a to be able to set some momentum up. But at the end of the day, you got to make the shots like you're talking about. Hey, the season's over. New season starts next week. There's a championship that could be won. If that championship gets won, then you go dancing. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's the new, that's the good news. We're absolutely. not out of it. You know, it's a bummer because you want to finish and share that sure. championship, but you don't get to. But the big dance starts next week. And if you were to ask Coach which one he wants, he wants the <laughs> second one. He yeah. wants to go dancing. And so do all the guys. So And we do. And we do too, <laughs> yeah. You will. I'm going to watch it from home. But, you know, but uh, anyway, it's, it, it, it is disappointing. You would like to get a regular season champion. Sure, but you know we had one three years ago. Didn't win the tournament and went to the NIT. Uh, again, y- you want to go to the NCAA tournament, and that's still possible. That is still out there to be accomplished. So, final numbers here: Stephen F. Austin shot 23 of 50, 46 percent uh, from the field. They were only one of nine from three-point land, so they could have easily had more separation in this game. 17 of 25 from the free throw line. That wasn't a good effort. Only 68 percent. 22 turnovers. Uh, they scored 16 points off of 18 Bearcat turnovers, 42 total rebounds. So they out-rebounded Sam Houston by 10, 32 on the defensive side, 10 offensive boards, 13 second-chance points, 10 off the bench, 40 in the paint, and also 10 fast-break points, 5 blocks, 8 steals, and 7 assists. For Sam Houston, not a night that they want to remember from the field. 18 of 57, only 32%. 6 of 29 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line at 21%, and 17 of 22 from the Charlie's Used Cars uh, free throw line. 18 turnovers. They scored 17 points off of 22 Stephen F. Austin turnovers. Only 32 rebounds, 22 on the defensive side, 10 on that offensive glass, 12 second chance points, 29 off the bench, 20 in the paint compared to 40 for Stephen F. Austin, 14 fast break points, so they definitely have the speed there. Five blocks, nine steals, and six assists. The largest run for the Bearcats, it was a 7-0 run. Their largest lead was by seven, and in the first at 15-24 to go. Remember, the Bearcats came out shooting hot. There was a lot of energy in the building, uh, but the things really cooled off for Sam Houston. The offense of Stephen F. Austin, their largest lead, uh, well, it was their last lead, 64-59, to tying the largest to 12. Their largest run was a 13-0 run, and unfortunately that run coming uh, late in the ball game. Whenever the Bearcats needed to clamp down, they took a one-point advantage at the 46-point mark, but then they went on that slump where they did not make a basket for almost six minutes uh, to close out this ball game. That's going to be a memory as well. Double-digit scoring, two players with 17. Cackleries had 17. Kinsmill had 17. No other players with double digits for Sam Houston. Bryce Monroe, Rocket Man, had 24 in this ball game. How about the effort from the freshman, Ken? Yeah, he, he showed a lot of grit tonight as a true freshman. Uh, that's the kind of effort that, you know, Coach Hooten expects from him. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he develops over the next coming years, but he's matured through this season. How is that going to, you know, look? next week in the in the tournament. Lampley fouling out of the game. There was actually two players fouling out, Tristan Igpe and Demarcus Lampley. Uh, Nuttall was also in foul trouble. Lampley finished with 11, Nuttall with 10. Those are your only players in double digits tonight for Sam Houston. Southland Conference action coming up. We'll have the full schedule and the brackets and more. Follow us on Facebook at KSAM Sports. Ken, been a privilege, man. I've enjoyed having you, and we will see you at Katy. Yeah, thanks so, for having me. We're going to have you even sit next more. to you. Yeah, I, I look forward to it. I just get to enjoy doing this with you, and uh, it's just fun. Appreciate Thank Joshua you. Harris, Christopher Dunlap, Steve Ricks all joining us. A lot of friends tonight. Thank you for your support of Sam Houston Bearcat basketball. By the way, we're going to have one more Jason Hooten a radio show. That will be on Monday night live from True Texas Barbecue inside HEB Huntsville. So come on and see us. Also want to give a shout-out to the Hall family. They were listening from Western Maryland on TuneIn. I didn't know we were on TuneIn. So thank you to the Hall family uh, for listening in tonight and also Joshua Harris over at the Oak Ridge Disciple House. Ken, thanks again, man. Been a fun one uh, this season, and now it's on to the postseason. Katie Tournament, still a lot of basketball remaining, and we believe in the Bearcats. So just say it out there, Huntsville, eat them up. Cats come out, continue to support these young men as they continue their journey in the play. And, hey, the women as well. Don't want to forget about them. For 
Mr. Ken Holland, I'm Rob Hitt back at KSAM Studios. Appreciate Carlos Zimmerman and Jordan Smith helping us out tonight. Steve Ricks, our Director of Operations. Dave Donahue, General Manager. And all the wonderful staff here at Sam Houston, including Jason Barfield, Ben Reichard, and Cody Stark, also Athletic Director. Coach Bobby Williams, my beautiful fiance Bridget Brennan, for helping out as well. Couldn't do it without her and everyone across the KSAM and Sam Houston family. Your final again tonight, 64-59. As the Bearcats fall in this contest, they will finish the regular season 11-4 in the, in, I beg your pardon, 13-3 in the Southland. Nothing to be uh, scathed about on that. It was a great effort this season. They'll finish up just one win shy of 20 at 19-8 and as the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks will complete this season 16-5, and 12-3 in the Southland. No postgame. That is the last game for Stephen F. Austin this season as they forfeited their rights uh, to play uh, due to that suspension that they asked for last or the next year. They asked for it this year so they can play a full season in the Western Athletic Conference. Friends, appreciate you as I end every broadcast reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand to support. Somebody out there tonight needs you. We'll be back on the air tomorrow. Afternoon, after lunch, I believe around 2.50 or so. Check the schedule as we will have Sam Houston Bearcat basketball, <laughs> baseball live from Minute Maid Park of Battle League, Texas Christian University. Good night and God bless from Huntsville, Texas. Improve your health and well-being this year at Snap Fitness. Snap Fitness offers 20.